was that, Gigi? What are you eating? <laughs> I'm eating some of the chocolate that Henry gave me. Some of the chocolate that Henry gave you? Mm-hmm. All right. Boom! We are in the building. And what day is it? It is Freaky Friday night, and we are live from New York, New York. TJ is in the building. Adam Stacks is here. Kaysen is here. Sparkle Flair is in the building. Cam's Collectibles is in the house. The Saint is here. Rockzilla's in the building. Brad Burge is here as well. Thank you guys so much for being here on the World Coin Auction. And guys, right in front of you, is the main event of the evening, the V-75 end of World War II, 75th anniversary American Eagle silver proof coin is up for grabs tonight. And I am excited and eager to find out who's going to take home that epic, epic coin. What's going on, Dennis Stewart? Dennis, thank you so much for donating two jackpot prizes once again Big shout out to Dennis for all he does for the channel. We have three jackpot prizes tonight. Jackpot prize number one is the slab Libertad. 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 Jackpot prize number two is a one ounce copper penda, 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 penda. And that is courtesy of Dennis Stewart. And jackpot prize number three is a grab bag courtesy of Dennis Stewart. This is a grab bag he donated for on uh, the 10th, which was this past Tuesday. And uh, this is grab bag number 161. And Dennis said, give it away, give it away, give it away now. So you see a Benji in there. There's a bar recorder. There is a buffalo, a bunch of wheat scents, and some foreigns in there as well. So this is courtesy of Dennis Stewart. Thank you so much, brother. That makes three jackpot prizes for tonight. So, guys, if you haven't yet commented, here is the stream giveaway comment video link. Make sure you leave a comment. We will be using the random comment picker uh, for entries tonight. What's going on, Herbert Cox? Chris Brummett's in the building. Good to see you, Chris. Chris B is here. Chris Times 2 is in the building. We have two Chris's in the building. Thank you guys for joining me. Michael M is here. Times. And the captain, the general, Gigi, is in the building, everybody. Times. Oh, there you go. And the energy is here. We are ready for tonight's auction. We have 35 items tonight. And guys, if you haven't yet checked the auction menu, then you can find the link in the description of this video. You can also scroll down. Let's say that link is giving you trouble. We have it manually inputted in the description. All you have to do is scroll further down, and you will see the entire auction list for tonight. Now, you must be registered to participate in tonight's auction. How do you register? All you have to do is send a $1 refundable verific verification payment to Sakaplata NY at gmail.com and that's via paypal goods and services and uh if you do purchase something we will deduct the one dollar from your auction total tj is here breeze is in the building good to see you breeze hope you guys enjoyed your friday i know it's been a long week and a very stressful one but now's the time to sit back relax grab a beverage i have mine and grab some snacks preferably some popcorn with a whole lot of butter. And uh, we will get rolling shortly here. But guys, I do want to shout out a couple of people before we get started. What's going on, Sparkle Flair? Herb Ash is here. Sean Eric is in the building. Thank you for joining us, Sean. Sean says, love the energy. This is the Freaky Friday Night Energy. And guys, it is contagious. I feed off the energy in chat. And I hope you guys enjoyed your week. Now's the time to sit back and relax. Rahelio's in the building. Good to see you, Rahelio. Let's see if I missed anybody. Hopefully, I didn't miss anyone. I do appreciate you guys spending your Friday night with me. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to shout out a couple of people. I received a couple of uh, 
packages. So first off, I received a letter in the mail from Ontario Stacker. So Ontario Stacker, thank you so much for the channel sticker from our friend from Canada. And he says, uh, you have a great channel. I watch it daily. I look forward to more content from you. Here is one of my stickers, Ontario Stacker. So thank you so much, guys. If you haven't already subscribed to Ontario Stacker, make sure to hop over this channel. And uh, thank you once again, Ontario, for the kind words and for the sticker to add to my collection. I really do appreciate that. And I also want to take the time to shout out Henry V. Henry V sent a package. Uh, I believe it was yesterday we opened it up. And uh, he sent a, a nice little thank you note as well. It says, Sock up lot the family. Just wanted to say thank you for all the goodness you've given me at this time. I hope you enjoy these little bits of love and friendship. Thanks again, Henry. And Henry sent a bunch of chocolate that me and Gigi were literally crawling, scratching, clawing to get a hold of. And that's probably why you could not hear Gigi say, let there be light at the beginning, because she had a mouthful of Hershey's chocolate, <laughs> courtesy of Henry. So Henry, thank you so much for the gifts. Uh, this this little coaster, this uh, holder is one of them as well. He also got me a uh, Colorado shot glass. So that was very cool. And a very cool New York seal of the city, seal of the state, New York. So thank you, uh, Henry. I really do appreciate that. And I definitely appreciate your support and your friendship. So thank you to Henry and thank you to Ontario Stacker. Very, very uh, nice way to start the morning. So uh, we're going to get started here, but I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. So we have 35 items on tonight's auction. Each lot number is represented by a jackpot number. That jackpot number will be issued to each auction winner, and we're going to enter these now into the soccer plot, the jackpot, and we will select a winner at the end of the stream via the soccer plot, the jackpot barrel that you see right here for a chance to win one of the three prizes. Once again, a slab Lieber tag, a one ounce copper round courtesy of Dennis Stewart and an ultimate grab bag, grab bag number 161, courtesy of Dennis as well. So thank you guys for being here, and it should be a fun one. We have the V75 on the line tonight, and Gigi will be in and out. She's running around here like a firecracker. Hopefully she'll be back. There she is. Are you stealing all of, all of the chocolate that Henry gave us? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Can you save me something, please? I'll save you half a bag. <laughs> a half a bag. Henry must have gave how many? Two, three bags full of chocolate? Two bags. Two bags full of chocolate. Thank you once again, Henry. And we have Reese. Reese is in the building. Good to see you, Reese. And uh, Rahelio is here. All right, guys. So we're going to get started. Oh, look at this. So these are the two bags. <laughs> these are the two bags of candy, courtesy of Henry V., and uh, they are open, and they will be empty probably by the end of the weekend, to say the uh, at most. All right. So here we go, guys. If anyone is new and has any questions, feel free to ask away, and I'll do my best to accommodate. Shipping is $4 for five ounces or less, $8 for six ounces or more. That's flat rate with insurance. And, of course, if you have an active wallet account, then shipping will be free. So we're going to get started. Put a one in the chat if you're ready to rock. And then we're going to pull up the uh, we're going to pull up the random comment picker. And uh, we are going to select five entries, five names to be selected to be entered into the jackpot. We have three jackpot prizes tonight. 
What's going on, Patriot Stacker? Gold miners here. Cap Jiggas in the house. And Beth Jules, Maine D. Who else is here? West Point Fever's in the building. C Spoon. Spoon is in the house. The Saint Rafe Ailman's in the building. Rafe says, I have a question. What if we want to get a hold of you, Sokka? That is a great question, Rafe. And many scientists have worked long hours trying to find the answer to that question. And I don't even know. Sock a blopper, NY at gmail.com. So if you have any questions, any inquiries whatsoever, you can always email me at sock a blopper, NY at gmail.com. And uh, we have Sharp Eye for Coins in the building. Adam Stacks is here. All right, guys, we're going to get started. We are fired up and wired up. And we're going to start with lot number one. But before we do, let's just get these uh, entries in. All right. Once again, if you're just joining us, please take a second to smash that like button and leave a comment on the link that you see in chat. Uh, we will be selecting some entries for tonight's jackpot. So we're going to select five names. And... Uh, each name will receive one entry into the jackpot for a chance to win one of the three prizes tonight. All right. Good luck. Cap Jigga. Cap Jigga, you have just been entered into tonight's Soccer Block the Jackpot. We have three prizes, including a slab 2015 one ounce Lieber Tad. We also have a one ounce copper panda, courtesy of Dennis, and a grab bag, courtesy of Dennis Stewart as well. So that is uh, entry number. Uh, we're going to get the entries after we select all five names here. So please uh, bear with me. All right. What's going on? Henry's here. Boom, Henry. Thank you so much for the package, brother. We were just uh, singing your praises. And we are singing Brad Burge's praises because he has just been entered into the soccer plot the jackpot congratulations brad and we are going to select three more names look Gigi, henry's here hello henry thank you so much for the chocolate and as you can see she's doing jumping jacks as she uh thanks you henry <laughs> i wonder why she's jumping around here on this freaky friday night all right here we go let's select another entry and it's Henry. Henry V, you have just been entered into the jackpot. And I will give you guys the entries uh, after we uh, finish the selection here. All right. Number four is Jay Corona. Jay Corona. What's going on, brother? And Rita's here. Good to see you, Rita. So here is the, uh, the uh, link to the comment video. We have four selections already, and we are going to select one more here. And we'll be using the random comment picker throughout the stream to uh, gain some more entries. And we have Spoon. So, Spoon, you have been selected to be entered into the Soccer Plot, the jackpot, courtesy of the random comment picker. So let's get you guys your entries. Once again, that's Cap Jigga, Brad Burge, Henry V., Jay Corona and Spoon. So let's get the five entries here and then we will get started with tonight's auction. A very top heavy auction, a lot of beautiful items on the dessert menu, but you know how we get started here, guys. We, we start off with the appetizers just to get our feet wet and we uh, push forward. Maximus is in the building. What's going on, brother? Hope you're enjoying your Friday. Maximus is plugging his live stream for tomorrow night, the one-year anniversary. Say hello to the people, Maximus. All right. So we're going to uh, give Captain Jigga entry number 96. Brad Burge, you'll get number 45. Henry, you'll get 46. Jay Corona, you will receive 75. And Spoon, you will get number 57. Let's recap. That's Cap Jigga, you'll get 96. Brad Burge, number 45. 
Henry V, number 46. Jay Corona, number 75. And finally, Spoon, number 57. So let's enter these entries in. There are 35 entries representing the, uh, the uh, auction lots. 1 through 10 is in. 11 through 20. 21 through 30. 31 through 35. And the five entries that we selected via the random comment picker. All right. And we have just received a $5 super chat for Gigi, the star of the auction. Boom! Gigi! Gigi's been running laps, guys. She's breaking a sweat over here, running back and forth. With what? What is in your room? Chocolate? chocolate? More chocolate. So, Herb Ash, thank you so much for the thank support. You. Gigi, the star of the auction, the star of the show, the star of my life. And uh, thank you so much for that, Herb Ash. And Kelly Ray's in the – and Gigi's doing squats over here. We might turn this into a quick 15-minute fitness program. All right. Thank you guys so much for being here. Kelly Ray's in the building. Sorry if I missed anyone, but we're going to get started here. So we're going to get started with lot number one out of 35 items. And let's ease our way in with a little bit of junk silver. Lot number one is $1 face value, $19.69, Denver, 40% half dollars. These are 40% Kennedys. We have Rafe at eight. Collective Chris kicking in the door. What's going on, Chris? Uh, Chris with the correction at 10. So we have... Collective Chris at 10, looking for 11 for the $1 face value in 40 percenters. And we have Collective Chris at 10, looking for 11, 11. Do we have 11? Going once. And we have Rahelio coming in at 12. Rahelio at 12, looking for 13. For the one dollar face value in 40 percent Kennedy's, these are both 1969 Denver in pretty decent shape. Or Helio at 12 going once, going twice now. We have Rogelio at 12, looking for 13. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Rahelio for $12. Congratulations, Rahelio. You are first on the board, the first winner of the night. And with that purchase, you will also receive jackpot entry number one. So congratulations to Rahelio. And we will add that to your wallet. And Chris, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking, brother. Uh, things are getting a little crazy here in the New York City area, but uh, we're staying here on a positive note. Uh, the mayor just announced that uh, we are on the brink of shutting the uh, public school, the public schools down in New York City, and we are hoping uh, that that is not the case. And uh, all we can do is stand by, wait, and see what happens. But uh, yes, it's getting a little hectic in New York. Hope you guys are all safe and healthy. And uh, without further ado, we're going to move on to item number two. Lot number two of the night is a BU 1974 Blue Ike Dollar. This is 40% silver. Check that out. 1974S. Starting bid is $1. We have 
Collective Chris at eight, Captain Jigga at nine, Wraith at 10, Collective Chris coming back at 11. Now, Cap Jigga, I'm not sure if you registered. If you know you registered, just let me know, confirm. Uh, if not, I would need you to register. That's just to assure you have an active uh, PayPal account and that you are of age to participate. Uh, we have Wraith at 12 now. Collective Chris says, what's the email? Chris, I have no... SoccerBlockerNY at gmail.com. It feels so good when I say it. All right, 1974S. We have Wraith at 12 now. 12, looking for 13. Going Dots. What's going on? Rockin' Roots is in the building. Good to see you, Rockin' Roots. Going twice now. We have Rafe at 12. All in. All out. And we have the first sniper alert of the night. Jules coming in at 13. Duck for cover, guys. We're just getting warmed up here, but it is Sniper City in New York here on Freaky Friday Nights at the World Coin Auction. And we have Jules at 13. Looking for 14, 14. Do we have 14? Rage says, ouch, you got me out. We have Jules at 13. Going once. Going twice now. Jules at 13. All in. All out. Last call. And sold to Jules for $13. Congratulations, Jules. You have just won the BU 1974S Blue Ike dollar. All right. And, uh, Cap Jigga says, how shall, shall I register? So all you have to do is send a $1 verification. It's a refundable $1 verification payment to SockaPlapaNY at gmail.com. And once again, that's just so I, I know that you have an active uh, PayPal account and I have your shipping information. And it also tells me that you are of age to participate. So thank you so much, Cap Jigga. I do appreciate the question. And you are not required to participate in the bidding process. Either way, we'd love to have you on stream. All right. So that is 13 for Jules. And you will receive jackpot entry number two. All right, Jules. All right. We're going to move along here. Lot number three is one Utah gold back. Take a look here. Face reveal. Gold reveal. Starting bid here is $1. We have Adam kicking it off at five. Five. Looking for six. Six. Do we have six? Rafe taking it to six now. This is one one thousandth pure gold. And as you know, they have the Nevada Goldbacks now, and we're waiting for the New Hampshire Goldbacks to be released. We have Spoon at eight. Spoon at eight, looking for nine, nine. Do we have nine? And Henry, look, I'm using the Colorado Rockies uh, can hold holder. Putting it to good use tonight on tonight's auction. We have Spoon at eight. Going once. 
And Jules coming in at nine. Jules at nine. Looking for 10, 10. We have 10. Jules at nine. Looking for 10 for the one Utah gold back. Going once. Going twice now. We have Jules at nine, looking for 10. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Jules for nine dollars. Congratulations to Jules for nine dollars. But hold on, we're gonna roll the price back here. Instead of nine dollars, we're going to make it seven dollars, and we're gonna turn that into a buy it now. We have 19 available. First come, first serve. So we have Spoon with a buy now one. And all buy nows receive jackpot entries as well. TJ with a buy now one. We have Saint with a buy now one. Cam's Collectibles with a buy now one. Jules wants three more. Buy it now three. We have Rita with a buy it now one. Power of Cheese is in the building. Good to see you, Power of Cheese. Hope all is well. Power of Cheese with a buy it now two. Rockzilla with a buy it now two. What's going on, Rock? All right. We have seven more available if anyone is interested. So once again, that's for these at the $7 price point. So, Jules, you will receive jackpot entry number three, but you will also receive entries for the buy it nows as well. Uh, we have Gold Miner. What's going on, brother? Gold Miner with a buy it now one. And TJ wants one more as well. All right, TJ, we have you down for two here. So, Spoon, buy it now one. TJ, buy it now two. Saint, buy it now one. Cam, buy it now one. Jules, Buy now three. Rita, buy now one. Power of Cheese, buy now two. Rockzilla, buy now two. And Gold Miner, buy now one. And we have Jay Corona wants a buy it now one. And uh, all right, Gold Miner wants to turn that into two. And Jules, four more. So that's a total of seven. Just confirmed, Jules. Seven, not including. The uh, not including your jackpot win. All right, guys, We're, we don't have too many buy it nows today, but uh, this is definitely one of them. All right, TJ, we'll get you down for one more, and I think we are yes, eight total, Jules. That's right. Rita wants two, and we have TJ turning his two into three. All right, guys. So the gold backs are sold out for today. And let's get you guys your entries. So Spoon, you will have entry number 80. TJ, you have three entries. Number 86. Number 38. And number 70. We have the Saint with number 93. Bingo! Cam's Collectibles with number 59. Rita, you, you are getting number 91 and number 66. 91 and uh, 66 for Rita. What's going on, Deborah? Good to see you, Deborah. All right, let's see. Power of Cheese, you will receive 97 and 87. 97 and 87. We have three jackpot prizes tonight, including a slab Libertad 
which will be given away at the end of stream. Rockzilla, you will receive number 65 and number 88. Jackpot entry 65 and 88. Gold Miner, you will receive jackpot entries number 58 and 43. A lot of jackpot entries for the buy it nows. And we have Jay Corona with number 56. Now let's get Jules his other seven entries here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, Jules, I'm going to write them down as I say them. And then we will toss them into the jackpot as well. So bear with me, guys. I appreciate the uh, patience here. All right. So, Jules, your numbers are 78, 64, 68, 44, 95, 98, and 94. So, there you have it. And those are all the jackpot entries for the Buy It Nows for uh, lot number three. And they are in there all right uh so rebel randy we are sold out of the one utah gold backs but there will be a couple of more uh buy it nows uh as we go on all right let's tag this for jules and then we will move right along Rockzilla says, still love the feeling of finding silver on the way home. Went to the store and found $1.25 face silver in three coin stars. Boom! Rockzilla, that's why it's important to always check the coin stars, uh, especially if you're in the neighborhood. Why not pop in and just take a quick look? You never know. I've had some really uh, nice finds in some coin stars before. My biggest find being about... I would say it was several Washington silver quarters. I think it was maybe $8 worth or something like that. I'm not sure, but it was quite a bit. No, it might have been just eight Washington silver quarters. I don't recall, but it was, it was a lot more than you normally see in a reject trick. All right, so let's keep it moving here. We have item number four. Item number four is... A 1918 France two franc 0.835. We have Collective Chris at seven with the high bid, and it has some nice uh, toning on it here. Now, if this were a 1913, we're looking at a half a million minted, but unfortunately, it's not. But we're looking at about we're looking at 10 grams of 0.835 percent silver or 0.835. We have TJ at seven and a half. TJ at seven and a half. Looking for eight, eight. We have eight. We do accept half dollar bids up until the ten dollar price point. After that, it is one dollar intervals. Spoon with the $10 bid. We have Spoon at 10. Look at 11, 11. We have 11 for the 1918 two francs from France. TJ at 11. Spoon coming back at 12. Spoon at 12. Looking for 13, 13. We have 13. Collective Chris says, give me her number, please. <laughs> Her number is 1918, Collective Chris, and good luck finding her. <laughs> we have Spoon at 12. Going once. Going twice now. Spoon at 12. All in, all out, last call, and so to 
Spoon for $12. Congratulations, Spoon. Nice looking toner there. 1918. So over a hundred year old coin heading your way. And uh, we're going to get you down here for $12. And Spoon, you will also receive uh, jackpot entry number four. All right. Congratulations, Spoon. And we are going to finish off the appetizers with a pre-1900 copper token. So let's take a look here. All right. This is an 18. I'm, I am going to take it out of the flip. This is an 1852 Bank of Upper Canada half penny copper token. If we can get some clarity from the uh, C922, there we go. Thank you, webcam. 1852, starting bid is $1. We have rate taking it to five. So 1852. Nice details on the token, and it is copper. We have Brad at six. Brad at six, looking for seven, seven. We have seven. Very cool. 1852. Brad at six now. Rita coming in at seven. We have Rita at seven, looking for eight, eight. Do we have eight for the 1852 Bank of Upper Canada? Half penny copper token. This is a token. Sparkle. Rita at seven. Going. Wands. Kelly Ray coming in at eight now. Kelly Ray at eight, looking for nine, nine. Do we have nine? Nice little uh, cool piece of history here. I love the design as well. Not bad for a pre-1900. And we have Brad taking it to eight and a half. Brad at eight and a half, looking for nine, nine. Do we have nine? Dreadpool is in the building. Good to see you, brother. Rogzilla says, Saka Plata should invest in a manicure with all of these hand shots. <laughs> Shout out to Mrs. Plata. You should have seen my nails before. Mrs. Plata uh, fixed them up, <laughs> Rockzilla. Shout out to Mrs. Plata. Always making sure that the hands are camera ready, or at least close to it. <laughs> we have Kelly Ray at nine, just edging out Rita. Kelly Ray at nine, looking for 10. And there you see the condition of the coin. of the uh, token, should I say. Sorry about that. It is a bank token. We have Kelly at nine. Going. Wands. And Rita taking it to 10 now. We have Rita at 10. Look at 11, 11. Do we have 11? Kelly at 11. Back and forth they go. Kelly at 11. Look at 12. For the 1852 Bank of Upper Canada half penny token. Kelly Ray at 11. Going once. Going twice now. Kelly at 11. All in, all out, last call, and sold to Kelly Ray for $11. Congratulations, Kelly. A very cool 1852 bank token heading your way. 
and you will receive jackpot entry number five along with your auction item. All right, Kelly. Let's bag it and tag it. Rafe says, Saka, I have a huge vintage tobacco advertising collection, and I saw something on the lineup that caught my eye. Exciting. Now, Rafe, I was very excited to come across this token. Uh, it's lot number 10, and it is a very rare token. So uh, I was looking forward to seeing what kind of reaction uh, I would get from that. So I do appreciate that you uh, have an interest in uh, copper and bronze and brass tokens as well, because we have a couple of them on tonight's auction. All right. So Kelly Ray, once again, congratulations. And before we get into the entrees of tonight's auction menu, we're going to pull the random comment picker back up, and we are going to select three more names to be entered into the soccer plot, the jackpot. Now, for those that are new, there are a few ways to enter the jackpot giveaway. Number one is you win an in-game chat. If you win an in-game chat, you get an entry into the jackpot. The second way is via the random comment picker. If your name is selected, you gain entry into the jackpot. And finally, for every auction lot that you win or every buy it now item that you purchase, you will receive a jackpot entry as well. So these are the jackpot prizes. Once again, the one ounce lever tad slab by PCGS. The one ounce copper panda courtesy of Dennis Stewart, and an ultimate grab bag, number 161, courtesy of Dennis Stewart. So big shout out to Dennis. Thank you so much for that, brother. Three jackpot prizes tonight, and we are going to pull up the random comment picker, and let's select three more names, shall we? We'll refresh one more time. All right, 48 unique comments. Good luck. And Rebel Randy. Rebel Randy says, wow, V75, I like it. Good luck. So Rebel Randy, you have just been entered into the jackpot. We will give you uh, a jackpot entry shortly. And let's pick two more names. And the winner is Maximus Silver Stacker. All right, Maximus, you have just gained an entry into the jackpot. And let's get one more name here. Brad Birds. Now, Brad, you, you won previously, so we are going to get you your entry now, and we'll select one more name. So, Brad, that's entry number 84. So you have 45 and 84 so far. But we need three different names. So let's just pull one more name here. What's going on? Amanda C's in the building. Thank you for joining us. And Chris Brummett. All right, Chris Brummett. You have just gained an entry into the jackpot. All right, so let's get an entry for Rebel Randy, Maximus, and Chris Brummett. And then we will move on to the entree portion of the auction. Rebel Randy, you will receive entry number 81. Maximus, you'll receive entry number 85. And Chris Brummett, you will receive entry number 42. So good luck. And let's enter these into the jackpot. All right. What's going on? Lambo Stackers in the building. Guys, it is Freaky Friday night. I have the ginger ale here. What is the beverage of choice in chat? What are you guys drinking on? What, what are the snacks? If anyone has popcorn, let me know. I'll be right over. Uh, so, Kelly Ray, your entry was number uh, five. Maximus says, hmm, what was I doing in 1985? Well, I know what I was doing in 1985. I was not existent. 
All right, number lot number six here. First item on the entrees is another Ike dollar. However, this is a 1974S Eisenhower dollar, 40% silver proof. Check out the toning on this one. Face reveal. Beautiful toning on this 40% silver Ike proof dollar. And let's take a look at the reverse here. Now, keep take note that the uh, the case is slightly cracked, but it doesn't appear that the coin was affected. We have power of cheese at 20. Yes, that's right. It is Freaky Friday the 13th tonight. So if anything weird happens, we know why. Face reveal, face reveal. And he says, you were just swimming around the universe. <laughs> we have power of cheese at 20. Looking for 21. Going once. Cam says, you're bold. That's right. Soccer bold. Huh? <laughs> A nice fresh shave this morning, guys. Going Twice now. We have power of cheese at 20. Looking for 21. All in. All out. Last call. And... Oh, to Power of Cheese for $20. Congratulations, Power of Cheese. And he says, send that to Lambo Stacker. Boom! How cool is that? Very cool, Power of Cheese. Congratulations. So we are going to get you down here uh, for $20. And you will receive jackpot entry number six. And then we're going to make a notation here to transfer to Lambo Stacker. Very generous of you, Power of Cheese. All right. So let's tag it for Power of Cheese, and then we will transfer it. All right, bear with me, guys. All right. So Henry reminded me when he mentioned, oh, you were just swimming around in the universe. Henry, it reminded me of my uh, biology teacher in high school where he told us a story. He said, look, if you don't think you're special, then you need to uh, think again because you are here right now because you outraced millions and millions of other little specks of the universe, as Henry would probably uh, call it. And you made it. So give yourself a pat on the back, everyone, because we outran millions of others. <laughs> Jonathan says, I'm a winner. Boom. We are all winners here tonight, guys. <laughs> Adam says, I am starting to look like a wizard with this beard. Adam, well, it's no shave November, so uh, I think you got to pass on that one. What's going on? George Kimmel's in the building. Good to see you, George. Speaking of racing, I think if anybody would have outraced anyone, it would be George and Dennis outracing everyone. The race car. Uh, drivers here. All right. So let's see here. We are up to item number seven. Item number seven tonight is a very cool Spielmark token. Let's take a look. This is Napoleon the third. 
Germany brass token. So this is brass. Let's see if we can get a nice close up here. The flip might be uh, interfering, so I do apologize for that. Let's, let's give the uh, webcam some time to focus here. There it is. We have clarity. All right, here we go. We have Wraith at five, looking for six. Now, this has a Numista rarity index of 92. Uh, I just figured that was something that is worth noting. So if you are a token collector, it's a pretty cool one here. We have Wraith at five, looking for six. For the Spielmark, Napoleon the Third, Germany, brass token. Rafe at five. Going once. And Rita coming in at six. Rafe coming back at seven. What's going on, Rory Ross? We have Rita at eight. Rape coming in at nine. Nine, looking for 10, 10. We have 10. Rape at nine. Going once now. Going twice now so Rita this is this does not have a date on it and it didn't even give me a range now you can find the information on Numista but it says ND for uh, no date and it doesn't have a range on it so I cannot give you that information unfortunately but uh, if anyone is able to locate that information then by all means but uh a lot of these tokens are just labeled no date. We have Rafe at nine. All in. All out. Last call. And. So to Rafe Ailman for nine dollars. Congratulations, Rafe. A nice brass token to add to your collection. And you will receive jackpot entry number seven. All right, guys. Next up is item number eight. And item number eight is a toner alert. Toner alert. This is. A 1971 Canada, British Columbia, 50% silver dollar. It is rainbow toned, as you can see. And the weight here is 23.3 grams of 50% silver. Starting bid here is $1. We have Adam at 10, just edging out spoon. We have TJ at 12, Adam at 13. Take a look at the other side here. Whoa. This is even more toned than I remember it being. We have Adam at 13, looking for 14. Power of cheese, taking it to 15 now. Napoleon the Third. Yes, I have very minimal knowledge about Napoleon the Third, but... Uh, I'll tell you what, one thing about coin collecting hobby is that it has uh, taught me much more U.S. history than I previously knew, and world history as well. We have Henry at 17 now. <laughs> then it says a palm sander will take that right off. Don't take the toning off, guys. Who's team toner here? The saint says, dip it. We don't want to do that. Although some people prefer 
luster over Tony. We have Henry at 17. Going once. Going twice now. Henry at 17. All in. All out. Last call. And we have a sniper with up for cover. Patriot Stacker coming in with the last minute snipe. Patriot at 18. And I have to erase the soul to Henry here in the in the uh chat bar here because Patriot Lee Patriot just got the snipe in. We have Patriot at 18. Looking for 19, 19. Do we have 19? Let's get a nice up-close look at this here. All right, Patriot at 18. Going once. Going twice now and we have a sniper alert henry v from the clock tower shots fired we have henry at 19 looking for 20 20 do we have 20 you have to keep your head on a swivel here and i did my stretching before the stream guys so i'm ready to go we have henry at 19 now for the 1971 Canada, British Columbia, 50% silver dollar, rainbow toned. Going. Once. Going. Twice now. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Henry V for nineteen dollars. Congratulations, Henry. Let's just make it official here. All right, so there you have it, Henry. Sorry about the typo, guys. All right, Henry, congratulations on that beautiful toner. And you will receive jackpot entry number eight. And let's add this to your wallet. All right, congratulations. Now we're going from toning to luster here because item number nine is a BU 1945 Merc Dime. Dime. And this is minted in Philadelphia. So there is a, uh, a black speck there on the face. Other than that, Pretty, pretty decent shape. Starting bid is $1. We have Rafe at 6, Adam at 7. Adam at 7, looking for 8, 8. We have 8. Rogelio taking it to 7.5 now. This is not full bands, at least in my opinion. We have Power of Cheese at 8 now. Power of cheese at eight. Rogelio at eight and a half. Eight and a half. Looking for nine, nine. Do we have nine? Rogelio just edging out Sharp Eye. Sharp Eye coming back at nine. We have Sharp Eye at nine. Looking for 10, 10. Do we have 10? For the 1945P Merc Dime. Going 
wants. And Power of Cheese taking it to nine and a half now. Nine and a half, looking for 10. Once we reach, or if we reach the $10 price point, it is $1 intervals afterward. We have Power of Cheese at nine and a half, looking for 10. Going once. And we <laughs> we have Henry at $9.99. So I guess we'll call that a $10 bid, Henry. Do we have confirmation for the 1945P Merc Dime? There it is. It's official. Henry at 10. Just a cent higher. We have Henry at 10. Look at 11, 11. Do we have 11? Going. Bonds. That reminds me of WWE. Uh, $9.99 for WWE Network. <laughs> Going twice now. We have Henry at 10. Look at 11, 11. Do we have 11? All in. And we have a sniper alert. Power of cheese coming in at 11. 11. Look at 12. 12. Do we have 12? What's going on, Catfish? Good to see you, brother. So uh, we accept $1 bids. We accept half dollar bids up until uh, the $10 price point. After that, we go $1 intervals. So we have power of cheese at 11. Look at 12. 12. Do we have 12? Going wants. Oh, no worries, catfish. Going twice now. Power of cheese at 11 for the BU 1945 P Merc Dime. All in. All out. Last call. And so to power of cheese for eleven dollars. Congratulations, power of cheese. You are the winner, and you will receive jackpot entry number nine. But here's what we're going to do as far as the Merc Dimes are concerned. You will receive this 1945P Merc Dime, but you will receive it at the $9 price point. And we're going to turn it into a buy it now for random date BU Merc Dimes. So congratulations to Power of Cheese. You get it for $9, and we're going to accept buy it now for $9 for random date BU Merc Dimes. If anyone is interested, we have plenty available. So let's, uh, let's see here. We have Henry V with the buy it now, too. What's going on? Silver Sax is in the building. Good to see you, brother. How's your Friday going so far? It is Freaky Friday night, and we are up to lot number nine. All right, Catfish, we'll get you down here for a buy it now one. Power of Cheese wants to add one more. You got it, Cheese. Speaking of cheese, I have to share this with you guys. This morning, I had a breakfast burrito just jam-packed with cheddar cheese, with onions, peppers, uh, home fries, bacon, and eggs. And I have been thinking about this burrito ever since about 9 a.m. in the morning. So forgive me for bringing this up if you haven't uh, had dinner yet. But, oh, my goodness. You know, you ever have something so good that you just think about it hours and hours later? Yeah, that's what happened. All right, we have Rahilio with a buy it now. Buy it now one. We have TJ with a buy it now one. 
We have Chris Brummett with a buy it now one. And we have Rita with a buy it now one. Let's make sure I'm not missing anyone else. Uh, we have Jules with a buy it now one. Once again, this is the $9 price point, and it's for random date BU Merc Dimes. All right. Uh, so $9 price point, Rockzilla. That's $9 for a random date BU Merc. And uh, let's get the entries here. All right. Henry, you will receive entry number 92 and number 47. Catfish, you'll receive number 67. Power of Cheese, you'll receive number 61, along with uh, entry number nine. Uh, Rockzilla wants to buy it now, too. All right, Rock, we'll get you down for two here. All right, Rahilio, you'll get number 74. TJ, you'll get number 72. Chris Brummett, you are number 100. We have Rita with number 50. Jules, number 63. And Rockzilla with number 55 and number 52. All right, there you have it. So let's add these into the jackpot barrel. We have three jackpot prizes, including an ultimate grab bag courtesy of Dennis Stewart, a one-ounce copper panda courtesy of Dennis Stewart, and a slab Mexican Libertad one-ounce coin. Or should I say one-ounce round? There is not a face value on it. Either way, Libertad, Libertad. All right. So let's just do a quick recap. Henry at buy now two. Catfish at buy now one. Power of Cheese with a buy now one, making it two total. Uh, Rahelio buy now one. TJ, Chris Brummett, Rita, and Jules with a buy now one. Rockzilla with a buy now two. All right. Collective Chris says, do you have any examples on hand to show Saka? If not, that's fine. So uh, these are what you can expect in terms of the condition. So what you saw earlier, uh, Collective Chris, they're pretty consistent with this condition. So once again, congratulations to Power of Cheese. And we're going to move on to a very rare copper token. I believe this might be the final copper token on tonight's auction. Uh, let's see here. Collective Chris says, buy it now too. And give one to the end of stream giveaway. Boom! Collective Chris. Thank you so much for that, brother. Collective Chris. We're going to put it down here. Buy it now to give one to the EOS Gaw. All right, Collective Chris. So let's make sure I pull the uh, Merc Dimes here. That way I have it on hand. And I will remember to give that away. That will be jackpot prize number four, courtesy of Collective Chris. And let's get you three entries this time, Chris, because uh, we didn't get you an entry on the last one because we did run out of entries. But uh, we're going to get you three this time to make up for that. So you'll get number 77, number 41, and number 62. 77, 41, and 62 for Collective Chris. Thank you so much for that, Chris. What's going on? Magnum Forces here. Lee Country Scratchers in the building, everybody. Thank you guys so much for being here on this freaky Friday night. And we are up to lot number 10. Lot number 10 is a very cool, very rare token here. So let's uh, pull it out so you guys can see. This is... Bull Durham, smoking tobacco copper token with a rarity index of 97 on the Numista website. 
Please take a look at the condition. It is in pretty rough shape, although the details are still there. We're starting this at $1. We have Rafe at 5 So it says, uh, let's start with heads. It says, heads, you win if you smoke Bull Durham. And then on the other side, it says, tails, you lose if you don't smoke Bull Durham. So Bull Durham was a uh, tobacco company, uh, I think up until the 1980s, I want to say. So this is one of their advertising tokens here. Very hard to find. And the uh, Numista Rarity Index does reflect that. We have Rafe. At eight, Rafe at eight, looking for nine for the Bull Durham Copper Token. Going once. Going twice now. And these are always fun. You don't see them often. So I, I like to uh, diversify on the auction. And this is one of those that you don't see all the time. So we have Rafe at eight, looking for nine. All in. All out. Last call. And. Sold to Rafe Ailman for $8. Congratulations, Rafe. What a great deal you got here. Although the condition is not that great, you got a very rare copper token, advertising token, for a very nice price. So congratulations, Rafe. That is, once again, $8.00. And you will receive jackpot entry number 10. How cool is that? All right, Rafe, we're going to add that to your wallet. Congratulations. All right, before we get into the next lot... We're going to play a game here. First person to guess correctly will gain one entry into the jackpot. Here we go. A U.S. state. A U.S. state. And let's take a look here. Oh, it's a blur. It's a matrix of states. We are searching, we are looking, but we are not finding yet. Can we find it? Don't blink. Don't you dare blink. My eyes, I am blinded. I am still not seeing it here, guys. I am looking. I am trying not to blink, but it is becoming very challenging here. What's going on, Hidden? We are looking. I am still not. Oh, we have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Stop. In the name of love, before you break my live chat, we have a winner. What's going on? Addicted to Stacks is in the building. Bonesky, Kellen is here. Thank you guys for being here. All right, we have a winner. So let's just verify. Here we go. That was difficult. And the winner is U.S. Silver Stacker. New Jersey is the answer. Congratulations, U.S. And here is confirmation of your win. There you see it. New Jersey is the correct answer. So U.S. Silver Stacker, you have just gained entry into a soccer plot, the jackpot giveaway that has grown to four separate prizes, two courtesy of Dennis Stewart and one courtesy of Collective Chris. So U.S., you will receive 
Jackpot entry number 73. And I believe last week we had a winner take home a jackpot prize with one entry in the jackpot. So all you have to do is be in it to win it. And it is possible that you can take home a prize. All right. Here we go. Next up is item number 11. This is a 1976 S Bicentennial Silver Uncirculated Set. So let's open this up and take a close look here. All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what it was, Collective Chris. That was that was amazing. Collective Chris uh, gave his entry to Hidden, and Hidden won the end of stream courtesy of Collective Chris, which was pretty cool. All right, we have C Spoon at 16, Adam at 17 now. Take note of the spotting that you see here on the Kennedy and on the Ike. And you can see a little bit on the uh, Washington Silver Quarter. These are 40% silver. So, Spoon, you were the last bid. So if that's a deal breaker for you, then you are free to retract your bid. If not, we're at 18 right now. The Country Scratcher says, if I want to send you some stuff for an EOS, where would I send it? Well, thank you so much for the, uh, the question and for the consideration. That's very kind of you. Uh, I do have my P.O. box in the uh, description of this video. Uh, so if you want to check that out, if you scroll down uh, past the auction list, you will be able to locate the mailing address. And I do appreciate that, country. Going once. Going twice now. We have Spoon at 18. And Henry with a sniper alert. Duck for cover. Henry coming in at 19. Silver Sacks fires back at 20. We have Silver Sacks at 20. Looking for 21, 21. Do we have 21? Oh, uh, Hidden, we were just talking about a uh, previous stream where uh, I believe it was last week's auction uh, where Collective Chris gave you his entry and you ended up winning with that entry number, which is very, very cool. And we have Henry at 22. Henry at 22, looking for 23, 23. Do we have 23? And the nerves are going as we get work our way down the list here. I keep looking at the V75 in the background. And what a rush it is to even have this on the table right now. We have Spoon at 23. Spoon coming in at 23, looking for 24, 24. Do we have 24 for the Bicentennial? Uncirculated silver set. Spoon at 23. Going. Once. Going. Twice now. All right, B, uh, there's someone named B in the chat. We're going to get you an entry number here, B. If I missed you, I do apologize. There's no way for me to uh, verify that now. So we'll uh, hook you up here with an entry number shortly. Just remind me, B. We have Henry with a sniper alert at 24. Henry at 24, looking for 25, 25. Do we have 25? Henry with the snipe. Uh, so, B, your entry will be 37. However, you will have to be present at the end of stream if that number comes out so that you can claim your prize. So that's entry number 37. 
All right, we have Hen Henry at 24, looking for 25 now. Going. Wow. Going twice now. Henry at 24. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Henry for $24. Congratulations, Henry. You will receive jackpot entry number 11 along with that purchase. $24 for the Bicentennial Silver Uncirculated Set. And let's add that to your wallet. All right. And thank you, Rock and Roots, for posting the, the P.O. Box address. So, guys, I do have my shipping address there in chat. Sock up out the P.O. Box, 860-229, Ridgewood, New York, 113. Three eight six, uh, and I did receive uh, a package from Henry and a package from Ontario Stacker uh, that definitely made my day. So thank you guys once again. Shout out to Ontario Stacker. If you don't have him, make sure to uh, hop over to his channel and hit him with a subscription. Tell him I sent you. And I have a sticker heading your way as well, Ontario. So thank you for that. And Henry, thanks again for the, the very kind gifts. And Gigi, if you would have seen how she just completely, like she just completely snatched both bags out of my hand before I even knew what was inside. Either way, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, she'll save me at least a couple. Uh, so Silver Sacks, uh, Ontario, Canada, I believe. Let's take a look here. Yes, Ontario, Canada. So uh, very nice from our friends from the north. Shout out to Ontario Stacker. That's right, Silver Sacks. He says, please don't say it. All right. So let's see here. We're going to move on to item number 12. Item number 12 is a 5-gram Geiger Silver square, five grams. Let's compare it with a, uh, let's see here. I guess we can compare it with a half dollar just so that you get an idea of the size that we're speaking here. We have Dreadpool at 16, Rahelio at 19, Collective Chris at 20, just edging out Kellen. Addicted says, sorry, guys, I can't chat much. I was in a bike wreck and broke some ribs and got road rash. Hurts to even think about moving my body. Oh, my goodness. Addicted, I'm so sorry to hear that. I definitely wish you a speedy recovery, and I'm grateful that it wasn't worse, although broken ribs are very excruciating. Uh, so, you know, I'm glad that it wasn't worse, but I am uh, sorry to hear that. He got into the accident, and I wish you a full recovery. Broken ribs specifically take very long to uh, heal uh, for obvious reasons, but ouch, that, that's a tough one. We have, uh, we have Rogelio at 22. Rogelio at 22, looking for 23 now. For the five gram Geiger square, five grams of three nines fine silver. Going on, wow. let me just verify. Yes, we do have Rogelio at 22. Going twice now. Helio at 22, looking for 23 for the 5-gram Geiger Silver Square. 
all in, all out, last call, and so to Rahelio for $22. Congratulations, Rahelio. What's going on? Silver Husky and the Flying Twinkie are in the building. Good to see you guys. So, Rahelio, here's what we're going to do. We're going to roll the price back. Hold on one second, guys. We're going to roll the price back from $22. But we're going to roll the price back here to $19. $19, and we'll turn it into a buy it now. Only 20 available. And we have Rockzilla with the buy it now one. Dreadpool, buy it now one. Kellen, buy it now one. Kelly Ray, buy it now one. This is for the five gram Geiger square. We have Rita, buy it now one as well. We have 15 more available of the uh, five gram Geiger squares at the $19 price point. What's going on? Vieira Coins is in the building, everybody. What's going on, brother? Vieira says, hey, everybody. And then he says, how many items do you have in your auction tonight? So I have 35 items tonight, Vieira, including the V75, which is on the line tonight. This V75 will have a new owner in a matter of a couple of hours, maybe an hour and a half or so. What's going on? Wesley's in the building. Wesley says, Hey, you guys and ladies, one eye Willie's treasure was located and for auction on Sockaplopus channel on Freaky Friday night, Wesley. Boom! And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> the voice is fully recovered and fully loaded. All right, so that's $19. Rahilio, congratulations. You will get jackpot entry number 12. And let's get some entries for the buy it nows now. Rockzilla, you will receive entry number 89. Dreadpool, you will receive entry number 39. Kellen, you will receive entry number 76. Kelly Ray, you'll receive entry number 48. And Rita, you will receive entry number 54. All right. And let's add that to the barrel. All right. So let's see here. So Rockzilla, Dreadpool, Kellen, Kelly Ray, Rita, all with a buy now one. All right, next up is item number 90, uh, number 13, 90, oh my goodness. Vieira says, Saka, give a dime coin tube for each item. So for each winner, you will also receive a dime coin tube courtesy of Vieira Coins. Boom! Thank you so much, Vieira. So let me just note that here. Dime tube for every lot winner tonight. Now, I would have to pick these up from Vieira's coin shop. So uh, there are going to be options here for you guys, whether you want to keep the wallet open with the, with the coin tube and have your items still shipped, or you want to hold your items to wait for the dime tube. Uh, that can be discussed off stream. But thank you, Vera, for your generosity. Uh, TJ says, you missed my bin one. Oh, I'm sorry about that, TJ. 
So TJ will get you down here with a buy now one, and your entry is number 36. And Gigi's in the building. Are you still eating chocolate? Yeah. You're cut off. That's it. You're cut off. But this time I ate a chocolate donut. A chocolate? Okay. Chocolate candy, chocolate donut. Oh, boy. <laughs> Imagine a chocolate ginger ale. A chocolate ginger ale? Oh, my goodness. As much as I like chocolate and as much as I like ginger ale, to put those two together would uh, not do me too well. <laughs> I like chocolate milk. Oh, chocolate milk I can do. All right. Let's see what uh, Silver Sack says. I had by now one as well. Sorry about that, Silver Sack. If I missed you guys as well, just let me know. So that I can get you guys down here. I do apologize for the uh, oversight. And Silver Sacks will get you down here for buy now one. And he says, for the end of stream giveaway, boom! The giveaway, the jackpot has just grown to five prizes tonight, guys. Incredible. Thank you so much for that, Silver Sacks. All right, so let's put that here. Very cool. Rockzilla says Gigi's gonna crash soon. I don't know. She's been <laughs> she's been running laps for about hour and a half strong right now. <laughs> uh, Henry, I hope she saves me some. I really do. <laughs> I'm sure Mrs. Plata is the gatekeeper there, making sure that. I get at least one. I just want one, Henry. Just one. All right. Let's see here. Uh, so, Silver Sacks, your entry number 51. All right. I do apologize, guys. I know we were in the middle of a lot here. Let's take a look where we are. So, the, uh, we're at lot number 13, the 1973 United Nations Peace Medal. This is... Sterling silver with a weight of 25.4 grams. Uh, we have the last bid I see is sharp eye for coins at 18. Sharp eye for mm -hmm. coins at 18. So sharp eye, uh, please confirm that $18 bid. And what? we have, oh, we have Henry at 19 just edging out Adam. Adam taking it to 20 now. Adam at 20, looking for 21. Bonesky coming in at 21. Henry at 22 now. Henry at 22, looking for 23. What's going on, Brian? Brian says, what's in the jackpot? So tonight's jackpot is a one-ounce Libra Tad slab by PCGS. A one-ounce Copper Panda, courtesy of Dennis Stewart. A one-ounce, uh, a... Ultimate Grab Bag, courtesy of Dennis Stewart. A BU Merc Dime, courtesy of Collective Chris. And a 5-gram Geiger Silver Square, courtesy of Silver Sacks. We have Spoon coming in at 25. Spoon at 25, looking for 26, 26. Do we have 26? Notice the baldy. I think I did a pretty good job today, guys. We have Spoon at 25. Going once. Going twice now. That's right, Henry. This is 1973. Let's confirm that for you right here. There you see it, 1973. And we have Kelly Ray with a sniper alert. Got for cover. Kelly at 26. We have Kelly at 26, looking for 27, 27. Do we have 27? Absolutely gorgeous uh, metal here. Not a coin, but it is a very cool piece. Uh, I actually had one a while back on a recent auction that had the uh, glass display on it. With this in the capsule, you can actually display it on your desk. Very nice piece. I think Breeze had, had won that a while back. We have Kelly at 28 now. Going once.
going twice now. We have Kelly Ray at 28 looking for 29. All in. All out. Last call. And double sniper alert from the grassy knoll and the clock tower. Henry and Rita coming in shooting. Henry at 29. He fires first. Just edging out Rita. Kelly coming back in at 30 now. That was a double snipe. Instantaneous. But I'm seeing Kelly first on my screen. Uh, excuse me, Henry first before Rita. And Kelly coming back at 30 now. Kelly says, I am not playing. And you know she's not playing because she, she put that in caps, guys. So Kelly, you're in the driver's seat at 30 right now. Kelly at 30 looking for 31. Going once. Going twice now. Kelly at 30. All in. All out. And sniper and duck for cover. Rita coming in with the snipe. Kelly bumping it to 35. Back and forth they go. I guess 1973 is a year needed in the collection. 1973. Peace medal from the United Nations. We have Kelly at 35 now looking for 36. Going. Wands. Who, ate, who hates snipers? I think Adam hates snipers. <laughs> Going twice now. Henry adjusting for altitude and windage. Kelly at 35. All in. All out. Last call. And sniper with Henry coming in at 36 now. Shots fired. Shots fired. Henry at 36, looking for 37. Back and forth they go. Henry at 36. He was adjusting for altitude and windage and bullseye. Henry at 36, looking for 37. Going once. Going twice now. We have Henry at 36. And we have Wesley coming in with a snipe at 40. Wesley at 40. Kelly at 41. We have a battle royal here for the 1973 United Nations Peace Medal. This is Sterling Silver. And we have Kelly at 41. Going. Wow. Going twice now. We have Kelly at 41. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Kelly Ray for $41. Congratulations, Kelly. A hard fought battle and a hard earned victory for the 1973 United Nations Peace Medal. How do you feel, Kelly? That was the battle of the night so far. And we're only on lot number 13 out of 35 items. A very top heavy auction tonight, guys. So 
Uh, we started with a lot of $1 items, and we will slowly be working our way up. All right, so Kelly, congratulations. And uh, we are going to add that to your wallet. All right. Next up, let's get some constitutional silver going. Uh, lot number 14 is $1 face in 90% Kennedy's. We have Adam at 18, Rafe at 22, Rafe at 22, hidden at 23 now. Hidden at 23, look at 24, 24. Do we have 24? Rafe coming in at 24. Sharp Eye says, hurry it up, hurry it up. Rafe at 24, look at 25, 25. <laughs> hidden at 25 now. Hidden at 25, looking for 26, 26. Do we have 26? <laughs> Going. What? Really, it says faster. <laughs> Hidden at 25. Going twice now. Hidden at 25. Looking for 26, 26. Do we have 26? All in. All out. Last call. And sold to Hidden for $25. Congratulations, Hidden. $25 for the $1 face of Kennedy. 90 percenters, you will receive jackpot entry number 14 for a chance to win one of the five prizes tonight, including a slab Mexican Libertad. All right, Hidden, we are going to add this to your wallet. All right. Next up is a very cool limited edition gaming token. This is item number 15, the Treasure Island Limited Edition $10 gaming token. Three nines, fine, silver. Of course, the center is the silver part, guys. So the center is about 0.6 in three nines, fine, silver. And we have hidden starting us off at 15. Bonesky at six, 16, just edging uh, out Dreadpool and Henry. Uh, Rory, the comment video is right there in the chat. So if you leave a comment, if your name is pulled via the random comment picker, you will gain entry into the end of stream giveaway. Thank you for that, Rock and Roots. And we have Spoon at 20. Henry taking it to 22 now. Take a look at the other side here. And I actually have this design as a tattoo. Check that out. That was not done on purpose. The tattoo, I promise, was there before I saw this coin. We have Sharp Eye at 26 now. Sharp Eye at 26, looking for 27, 27. Do we have 27? Going once. Going Twice now. Sharp Eye said the tattoo does not add to the value. <laughs> That's right, guys. Tattoo is additional. Sharp Eye for 26. All in. All out. Last call. And. Sold to Sharp Eye for Coins for $26. Congratulations, Sharp Eye. We're going to get you down here for $26. And you will receive jackpot entry number 15 for tonight's jackpot. 
And uh, yes, that's right, B. This is a gaming casino uh, casino token from Las Vegas, Treasure Island, 1999 to 2000 there. All right, congratulations to Sharp Eye for coins. And there will be one more gaming token available to, uh, tonight with a rarity index of 95. So uh, that will be a lot number 19. But right now we're at lot number 16, the first Morgan dollar out of three Morgan dollars available. It is heavily circulated, but we're starting to bid below melt value here. 1900 oh Morgan dollar. $15 starting bid for the 1900 Oh, so if you need it in your collection to fill a slot, Sharp says, ooh, that's right. This is a uh, ooh kind of Morgan, but you can't complain when starting at melt. We have Dread Pool at 18 now. Silver Sacks says she is a dirty girl and a story to tell, I'm sure, Silver Sacks. We have Patriot at 19. Patriot at 19, looking for 20, 20. Do we have 20 for the 1900 minted in New Orleans? Going once. Going twice now. Patriot at 19. All in. All out. And we have a sniper alert from Kelly. Kelly kicking in the door at 20. What's going on, Kelly M? Good to see you. And we have Patriot Stacker coming right back at 21 for the 1900 old Morgan dollar in very warm condition. Just to give you an idea. We have Patriot at 21. Going once. And is it Kelly Macau? Please tell me, Kelly, because I, uh, I do not want to butcher your name again. I think I remember from the last stream. We have Kelly coming in at 22 now. Kelly at 22, looking for 23. We have Kelly at 22 for the 1900. Nisho, Nisho, there we go. D Dizzy was right. Dizzy was right. I'm sorry about that, Kelly. I promise I will get it right. We have Kelly at 22. Going once. Going twice now. And Patriot Stacker with a sniper alert at 23. Patriot at 23, looking for 24. Kelly says, my show. Kelly, my, my show. Is that it? Give me a thumbs up, Kelly, if that's correct. Kelly, my show. We have Patriot at 23, looking for 24. Silver Sack says, wait, Dizzy was right? What kind of alternative universe is this? Dizzy is right a lot of the time, Silver Sacks. <laughs> What's that saying? 100% of the time, he's right 60% of the time. We have Patriot. At, so I think Kelly's playing games over here. <laughs> Kelly. All right, we have Patriot Stacker at 23. Going... Wands. Kelly Michelle. There we go. Going twice now. And Henry with a sniper alert. Henry thinks Spot has climbed. And Henry coming in at 24. John Scott coming in at 25 now. Kicking in the door. Welcome, John. Hope you guys are enjoying your Friday so far. We are halfway through, a little less than halfway through tonight's auction. And we have John Scott at 25 for the 1900 O 
Morgan dollar in very worn condition. Going once. Going twice now. We have John at 25. All in. And Henry coming in with a sniper alert. Up for cover. Henry at 26, looking for 27. B says, would that be considered call? I'm new to stacking. I, I, would, I would call this a uh, call. It is very worn, as you can see there. 1900 so it may fill an album or two, but yes, it is very, very worn. We have Henry at 26. Going once. Going twice now. And John Scott returning fire with a $27 bid. We have John at 27. Sniper alert. Just edging out Kelly Michaud. I think I did it this time. <laughs> Kelly coming in at 28 now. Kelly at 28, looking for 29, 29. We have 29 for the 1900 O Morgan dollar. Up next is a uh, commemorative goose from Canada. We have Kelly at 28. Going once. Going twice now Kelly at 28 all in all out and we have a sniper alert John Scott coming back in at 29 back and forth they go John at 29 looking for 30 30 do we have 30 Rock and Root says, Duck, Duck, Goose. I watch my ducks play that game all day. You don't join them, Rock and Roots. I would definitely try to get in the mix. John at 29. Going once. Going twice now. We have John at 29. All in. All out. Last call. And so to John Scott for $29. Congratulations, John. You get the 1900 old Morgan dollar. That's 29. He said, I need a new pocket coin. And that's perfect. This will do just fine, John. And you get one from New Orleans. And guys, you know, there's a lot of coinage, you know, Morgan dollars included that end up getting melted. So although as bad as it looks, at least it's not, uh, you know, at least it's still a Morgan dollar and not melted into some other uh, miscellaneous bar or something. So, uh, John, congratulations. Uh, you're going to get jackpot entry number 16. And <laughs> Kellen says, did I hear coin melt? All right, John Scott, congratulations. And we are going to move on to item number 17. Now, this is so luster filled that I think it might have been dipped. I really do. That's. And the giveaway there, I'll tell you why I believe that. You can see. A print mark. You can see a print mark there. Very light. It's a very light print mark, but you can see the print mark. So print marks aren't, you know, sometimes people think that if you dip the coin, you'll remove 
Any print marks? No, -uh. that print mark stays no matter how much you dip it. So we have hidden at 21 now for the goose. 1967 Canada commemorative goose silver dollar, 80% silver. We have spoon coming in at 23 now. Spoon at 23. What's going on, Marley and T? Yes, this is gorgeous, but the only thing issue I have with this is the print mark right there that you can see very lightly. Uh, all right, we have Spoon at 23. Going on. Going to Weiss now. What's going on? Ozzy Cobber's in the building. Good to see you, AC. And we have a sniper alert. Sharp Eye coming in at 24. Spoon firing right back without hesitation at 25. Yeah, so please, guys, take note that there is a print that is visible there on the middle of the coin. Still some very nice luster to it. But uh, I think that's because it's been dipped, like I said. So take note of that. We have Spoon at 25 going once. Going twice now. Spoon at 25. Oh, let all out. Last call. And so to Spoon for $25. Congratulations, Spoon. You are on the board. And that is $25 for the commemorative goose. Canadian silver dollar. You will receive jackpot entry number 17. All right, spoon. All right. Moving right along, we are going to move on to item number 18 here. 8-8, eight, eight, Ron Autry's in the building. He says, how do you spell that? Wow. <laughs> I think you nailed it there. Item number 18 is in 1864, two-cent piece. In pretty decent condition there. You can see the details, 18, uh, 1864 there. We have Rita at 16. Rita at 16, looking for 17, 17. Do we have 17? For the 1864, two cent piece. We have Hidden coming in at 17. Take a look here. Power of Cheese says, is that two cent piece large or small? Let's take a look at the date here and the model. See if we can. Uh, based on the lettering, it looks a little larger. Uh, uh, oh, OK, Power of Cheese confirms. We have hidden at 17 for the 1864 two cent piece. Going once. And we have Sharp Eye coming in at 18 now. Sharp Eye at 18. Looking for 19. 19. We have 19. 18. Looking for 19.
going once now. We have Rita coming in at 19. Rita at 19, looking for 20, 20. Do we have 20? Silver Sacks. We have Rita at 19, looking for 20. Going once. And Sharp Eye firing back at 20. Sharp Eye at 20, looking for 21, 21. Do we have 21? And Shannon Smith coming in at 21, kicking in the door with a $21 bid. What's going on, Shannon? Thank you for joining us tonight. We have Shannon at 21, looking for 22, 22. Do we have 22 for the 1864 two-cent piece? Going one. Going twice now. We have Shannon Smith at 21. All in. All out. Last call. And. So to Shannon Smith for $21. Congratulations, Shannon Smith. $21 for the 1864 two cent piece. And you were caught entry number 18. All right. Congratulations on the two cent piece. And we're going to move right along to lot number 19. Lot number 19 is a Mandalay Bay $10 gaming token, three nines fine silver, with a Numista rarity index of 95. Check that out. We have Henry starting his team. Henry at 15, looking for 16, 16. We have 16. Mandalay Bay, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the Millennium Series as well. We have Spoon at 20. Spoon at 20, looking for 21, 21. Do we have 21? We have Henry at 22. Now, B, I'd love for you to participate in the bidding process. However, I would need for you to be verified on PayPal in order to participate. How do you do that? All you have to do is send a $1 refundable verification payment to, oh, okay, so B, thank you for registering. Let's uh, just verify that I have, uh, all right, thank you so much, B, I appreciate it. We have Kelly Michaud at 25. Kelly at 25, looking for 26, 26, do we have 26? AC says, it's got parrots on it, my weakness. And that's what attracted me to this particular token because uh, the design is somewhat reminiscent of the kookaburra. And we have Kelly at 25. Going one. And Rita coming in at 26 now. 26, looking for 27, 27. We have 27. Kellen says, hmm, I don't have this one. Yeah, this is a harder one to locate. According to Namista, the rarity index is 95 out of 100. And we have AC coming in at 27. AC at 27, looking for 28, 28. We have 28. AC at 27, just edging out Kelly. And Kelly coming back at 29. We have Kelly at 29, looking for 30, 30. Do we have 30? AC returns fire at 30. Back and forth they go, back and forth they go. And we have Kelly. I think that might have been a, uh, a typo. And we have Kelly at 33. 
Kelly at 33, looking for 34, 34. Do we have 34? And Sharp Eye, I can hear Sharp Eye saying, faster, Sokka, faster. 33, looking for 34, 34. Do we have 34? And AC coming back at 34 now. Ozzy Cobra at 34, looking for 35, 35. Do we have 35? For the Mandalay Bay, $10 gaming token. Silver Center, three nines fine, 0. 0.6 in terms of the uh, silver content. And we have Kelly coming back at 36 now. Kelly versus AC tonight. And we have Kelly at 36, looking for 37. For item number 19 out of 35 items. AC coming back at 37. What a battle we have here. Possibly the battle of the night. We have AC at 37. Looking for 38, 38. Do we have 38? Kelly taking it to 38 now. 38. Looking for 39, 39. Do we have 39? Kelly at 38. And AC coming back at 39. Back and forth they go. What a head-to-head -head battle. And Kelly is out. We have AC at 39. Going once. Going twice now. AC at 39. All in. All. Out last call and so to Kelly Michelle for uh for Ozzy Cobber for $39 as I stumble through that announcement. Let's do that one more time. Sold to AC for $39. Congratulations, AC. Sorry for the uh, fumble there. Fumble. And AC, you get it for $39. AC must have looked up like, wait, what? What is going on here? All right. Congratulations, AC. You get a very cool Mandalay Bay. Uh, gaming token. You also received jackpot entry number 19. We have five jackpot prizes. Uh, four of them courtesy of Dennis Stewart, Silver Sacks, and Collective Chris. So thank you guys so much uh, for your generosity. And uh, we are going to add this to your wallet, AC. Congratulations. All right, next up is the second Morgan dollar of the night. Item number 20 is an 1884 Morgan dollar from Philly. Just a normal condition. We have hidden at 20. Rockzilla have meant we'll be getting more BU Morgan dollars, and I will be breaking out BU Morgan dollars uh, soon, Rockzilla. I'm not exactly sure, but as I dig into the stack, I will be uh, uh, letting go of some BU Morgans in my collection. So we have Power of Cheese at 21, the Saint at 22, just edging out Silver Sacks. We have the Saint at 22 for the 1884 Morgan dollar from Philly. And Silver Sacks at 24 now. Silver Sacks at 24. Looking for 25, 25. Do we have 25? Going once. Going twice now. And we have Rita with a sniper alert. Duck for cover, Silver Sacks. Rita coming from the clock tower. 
put the $25 bid. Read at 25. Looking for 26. 26. Do we have 26? Silver Sacks coming right back at 26 now. Silver Sacks at 26. Looking for 27. Going once. Going twice now. We have silver sacks at 26. All in. And Rita does it again with a sniper alert at 27. We have Rita at 27. Looking for 28, 28. Do we have 28? Back and forth they go. What's going on? Jem Brown is in the building, everybody. Good to see you, Jem. Hope you're enjoying your Friday so far. And we have Rita at 27, looking for 28. Going once. Going twice now. We have Rita at 27. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Rita for $27. Congratulations, Rita. You get the 1884 Morgan dollar for 27 and you will see, receive jackpot entry number 20. All right, congratulations. And we are going to add this to your wallet. All right, it is in there. All right, next up, item number 21. Item number 21 is a 12 gram Valcambi Swiss silver combi bar. So this was from one of those 100 by 1 gram Valcambi Swiss bars broken apart. This is 12 grams and almost a perfect square. We have Herbash at 20. And they are intact. They're still connected. So you can take them off at your uh, at your leisure if you choose to do so. We have Rafe at 22. Rafe at 22. Looking for 23, 23. Do we have 23? For the 12 gram Valcambi Swiss combi bar here. Going... Wants. Going to Weiss now. We have Rafe at 22. Can he steal it? All in. All out. Last call. And so to Rafe Ailman for twenty two dollars. Boom, Rafe for the win. He shoots, he scores. Congratulations, Rafe. You basically Paid a dollar per gram here. That is an epic deal. And let's put you down here for 22. Just a little over a dollar. Uh, oh, excuse me. Under $2 a gram. That's 12 gram, not 20 gram. So under $2 per gram. Still a great deal either way. Congratulations, Rafe. And we will add that to your wallet.
That's the second nice deal for Rafe. Earlier, Rafe scored a very rare uh, advertising copper token. Uh, that was lot number 10. And he was able to get a great deal on that as well. So Rafe is doing it right. Congratulations, Rafe. And we are going to move right along to the final constitutional silver lot of the night. We have $1 face value in pre-1930 Merc Dime. So let's just go over the years here. 1919. 1928, 19, 19, this is a, this has a mint mark on it here, 1917, see if we can get a close up on that, S, I believe that's a 1917 S, we have another 1917 here, 19 a lot of a lot of uh, pre 1920 as well 1919 1928 1927 and 1918 we have Brad at 27 power of cheese taking it to 28 now 28 looking for 29 29 do we have 29 a nice mix of dates here but it seems that most of them are Pre-1920, although there are some 1927s, 28s. We have Henry at 29. Going. Wands. Going. Twice now. Henry at 29, and we have a sniper alert, Power of Cheese, coming in at 30. Duck for cover, everyone. Power of Cheese from the grassy knoll that time. And Power of Cheese at 30, looking for 31, 31. We have 31. And I think from this lot on, things will escalate pretty decently here. We have Power of Cheese at 30, looking for 31 for the pre-1930 $1 face value Merc Dimes. Dimes going once. Going twice now. Power of Cheese at 30. All in. All out. Last call. And so to POC for $30. Congratulations, POC. Some nice looking early dates heading your way. And we are going to. Uh, add that to your wallet. <laughs> the saint says, it ain't easy being cheesy, but it sure is fun, the saint. Who doesn't love to be a little cheesy? I tend to be a little cheesy after the stream, around 12.30 a.m., but we're not going to get into that. We are going to move on to item number 23 but not before congratulating Power of Cheese. All right, item number 23, I got in a bunch of loose rolls. Well, it wasn't a bunch of loose rolls. It was actually a few loose rolls, but the eagle eye worked in my favor this time around. Check this out, guys. Lot number 23 is a Benji Ender, a Benji Ender roll. And I can't guarantee that there's not any more silver in here. Why is that there? But that's a 1963 at the end there. So this is a $10 face value roll. And we have the ender here. 
And we have Vertical Stacker kicking in the door with a $25 bid. What's going on, Vertical? Thank you for joining us tonight. We have Chris Grummet coming in at 27 now. Now, it's only one-sided ender, and uh, the choice is yours. I can... Uh, I can open it for the winner, winner, or I can send it sealed as is and let you guys open it. And I'm probably thinking that's going to be the desired route there. So we have Chris at 27. Chris Brumman at 27. Looking for 28, 28. We have 28. Sharp Eye coming in at 28 now. For the Benji Ender ten dollar roll, and if and once again, if you win, guys, you get the entire roll. And this is the first time I put up an Ender roll on an auction. Usually, if we're lucky, it doesn't happen often. In fact, it rarely happens. But on the coin roll hunts, we have seen Enders, Benji Enders, Walker Enders, Kennedy Enders. I wish it happened more often, though. We have Sharp Eye at 30. Silver Sacks coming in at 31 now. Back and forth they go. We have Silver Sacks at 31. Going once. Silver Sacks at 31, looking for 32. Going twice now. All in. All out. Last call. And... Sniper alert, duck for cover. Jules kicking in the door with a $32 bid. Wow. Incredible. Just getting the bid in on time. And Silver Sacks fires right back without hesitation with a $33 bid. That's right. Uh, the Google moderator team deleted Sharp Eyes' uh, comment. Not sure I've ever seen that before. We have Silver Sacks coming right back at 33. 33, looking for 34, 34. Do we have 34 for the Benji Ender? Once again, I cannot guarantee that there is more silver in this roll. However, it is a possibility. We have Silver Sacks at 33. Going Wands. Jules coming in at 35 now. Mickey Robs Banks is in the building, everybody. Good to see you, brother. Hope all is well. Mickey, I know you're very busy and you're working your tail off, brother, but it is good to see you on stream. Hope you're doing all right. And we have Silver Sacks at 36 now. Silver Sacks coming back at 36. Henry says, run a magnet down the side. Yeah, uh, it's funny. I've heard the story. A bank, teller, a bank teller told me a story of... Uh, Someone trying to return rolls with thick, uh, like metal piping in the in the middle of it, and uh, that's something that they constantly have to look at. We have uh, silver sacks at thirty six. Going wands and jewels coming in at thirty eight now. Jules at 38, looking for 39, 39. Do we have 39? Silver Sacks taking it to 40 now. Silver Sacks at 40. We have a head-to-head -head battle here, guys. I think we're going to need some popcorn. We have Silver Sacks at 40, looking for 41, 41. Do we have 41? Going one. Going twice now, and Jules with the sniper alert, duck for cover. What a battle we have here. Back and forth they go, back and forth they go. We have Jules at 41. Jules at 41, looking for 42, 42. Do we have 42? Reese says Benji Ender. That's absolutely correct, Reese. It is a Benji Ender roll. 
However, I'm not sure if it has friends or not. We have Silver Sacks at 43 now. Silver Sacks at 43, looking for 44. Ray put the popcorn, the beer, but we're missing one thing. Where on earth is the butter? We need some butter. I picked up some butter at BJ's earlier today. Some unsalted Land of Lakes butter, but still butter nonetheless. We have Silver Sacks at 43. Jules coming in at 45. And AC brings the butter. Thank you, AC. We love a lot of butter on the popcorn. Jules at 45. Looking for 46, 46. So we have 46. Uh-oh, Henry, here's water dripping. Be careful out there, Henry. Jules at 45. Going, oh, we have Silver Sacks returning fire at 46 now. Silver Sacks at 46, looking for 47. The battle of the night, possibly right here. Silver Sacks versus Jules. Jules coming back at 47 now. 47, looking for 48, 48. We have 48 for the 1963 Benji Ender. And the roll is on the line here. And Jules at 47. Going once. Going twice now. And Kelly Michelle with a sniper and from the grassy knoll. We did not see that coming. But Kelly getting in on the action at 50 for the Benji Ender roll. We have Kelly at 50, looking for 51, 51. Do we have 51? Kelly turned his head-to-head -head battle into a triple threat now, and we have Kelly at 50. Going once. Going twice now. Kelly at 50. All in. All out. And Jules with the sniper alert. Jules at 51. Kelly coming right back at 52. We have Kelly at 52 looking for 53 now. Unbelievable. Back and forth they go. We have Kelly at 52. For the Benji Ender roll. Going once. Going twice now. We have Kelly at 52. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Kelly Michaud for $52. Congratulations, Kelly. You get the Benji Ender roll. You get the entire roll. You know there's a Benji Ender in there, and there's possible silver still inside. I do not know for sure. Now, it's not guaranteed, but there is a chance, and... Uh, why did the Google moderator just delete Reese's? Why did he? Why did they delete Reese's comment? Google, what are you doing? Stop with the censorship. Stop with the charades. All right, congratulations to Kelly. Now, Kelly, I can keep it sealed for you if you like. You just confirm. And uh, we're going to get you down here. That's uh, $52. You'll receive jackpot entry number 23 as well. All right. Uh, so, Reese, that's completely up to Kelly. If Kelly wants me to open it on camera, I can. If not, I'll keep it sealed for her in her wallet.
All right, before we move on, I'll, I'll get some confirmation from Kelly. And it's completely up to you, Kelly. Let's take a sip of the ginger ale. Shout out to Henry with the uh, nice holder here. All right, so we're going to keep this sealed. I haven't seen anything from Kelly yet. So we'll keep this sealed for uh, for Kelly. And congratulations. Mickey says, next week we'll make three weeks straight, six days, and multiple double shifts. Oh, man. Mickey, I could only imagine... Gotta do what you gotta do, brother. But I tell you what, it is Freaky Friday night, and you have joined us on the World Coin Auction, and we have the V75 up for grabs. All right, Kelly says open it. So we're gonna open it. Kelly gives the green light to open it. So let's take a look here. What do you guys think? One, two, three, or more. How much silver is in here? I hope it's more than one. And regardless, Kelly, you'll be getting the entire roll here, not just a silver coin. So let's take a look here. The suspense. The anticipation. And it looks like just one here. Let's take a look. So we have the uh, 1963. Let's just go through this really quickly. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's just a one Benji Ender. Yep, we're looking at just the one Benji here. But what I can do for you, Kelly, is I can swap out the clad half dollars and exchange it for silver for you if you'd like. So if that's something that you would like to do, Kelly, let me know, and I will uh, take these out, and I will swap it out for some silver instead of getting a... Uh, nine dollars and fifty cents in clad half dollars but that was very uh cool of you kelly to allow me to open that on stream and i do apologize that there was only one silver in there all right and kelly you can always email me behind the scene uh behind the scenes if you have something specific that you want to uh trade that for uh you let me know and uh We'll get that going for you. All right. Next up is item number 24, the final Morgan dollar of the night. It's an 1890 Morgan dollar with some slight toning here on the right side of the coin. 1890. Notice there is a ding there as well. Well, we started the bid at 20 bucks. And we have Adam Stacks at 21, Collective Chris at 22 now. Collective Chris at 22, looking for 23. Collective Chris at 22. Sharp Eye for Coins coming in at 23 for the 1890 Morgan Dollar from Philly. And Mrs. Plata is in the building, everybody. Hi, everyone. Mrs. Plata. What, what is I'm that? changing Ethan's battery. Oh, the battery. <laughs> <laughs> we still need AAA batteries. You know what I hate, guys? When you go to a uh, wholesale store, you buy a whole bunch of batteries only to find out you got the wrong ones. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Sharp Eye at 23, Rape coming in at 25. Rape at 25, looking for 26, 26. Do we have 26? Sharp Eye is out. Chris is out. Rafe at 25. 
going once. Going twice now. Rape at 25. All in. All out. And we have a double sniper alert, but Jules firing first, just edging out silver sacks. Duck for cover, Mrs. Plata. <laughs> <laughs> we have Jules at 26, looking for 27 now. And after the Morgan dollar, we have a 2001 Liberia on deck, followed by a low mintage Haiti coin. So stay tuned for some low mintage world silver. And we have Silver Sacks coming in at 27. Silver Sacks at 27. Looking for 28, 28. Do we have 28? He said, sorry, I was thinking about BBQ. Now I'm thinking about BBQ. Going once. Going twice now. Silver Sacks at 27. All in. All out. Last call. And sold to Silver Sacks for $27. Congratulations, Silver Sacks. Let's get this down for $27. And you will receive jackpot entry number 24. Jackpot entry num number 24. And we're going to add this. To your wallet. All right. Next up is item number 25. Item number 25 is a 2001 Liberia $20 Mission Gemini uh, the 8th 39 fine silver. Now I took the capsule off because it is cracked. That way you guys can take a look at how impeccable the finish is. Now these I acquired from a Mickey Robs Banks auction uh, several months ago, but I need to make some space for my uh, foreign gold collection. So we'll be parting ways with some low minted silver tonight. And we have hidden at 20. Hitting at 20, looking for 21, 21. Do we have 21? We have Rafe at 22. We're going to put the cap on this just so that we can flip it over and take a look at the reverse. But once again, guys, the capsule is in rough shape. Please don't judge the coin by the capsule. The coin is absolutely gorgeous. We have Rafe at 22, Reed at 25. Reed at 25, and, and this weighs 20 grams. So it's 20 grams of three nines fine silver. 2001 Liberia, and we have Rita at 25 going once, going twice now. Rita at 25. All in. All out. Last call. And sold to Rita for $25. Congratulations, Rita. Very nice price point for a very beautiful 2001 Liberia, $20. Mission Gemini the eighth. All right, Rita, we're going to add this to your wallet. 
and you will receive jackpot entry number 25. Congratulations. Moving right along, item number 26. Item number 26 is a low mintage alert. Low mintage alert. We have an 1890 Haiti. 20 centimes, 0.835 silver. And this has a mintage of 70,000 on planet Earth with a weight of five grams. And we have spoon at 20, hidden coming in at 21. And look at this beautiful coin here, 20 cents from Haiti. We have Spoon at 25, Hidden coming back at 26. Spoon returns fire at 27. 27 looking for 28, 28. Do we have 28? Very nice detail on this as well. Beautiful. Yeah, you guys, if you took the time to look it up in this condition, it's actually going for much higher. We have Spoon at 27. Going once. Going twice now. Spoon at 27. All in. Oh. Out and we have a sniper alert. Aaron kicking in the door with a $28 bid. What's going on, Aaron? Good to see you, brother. Another, um, another uh, great community member who's working his tail off. Uh, I know you guys are very busy, but it's great to see you here, Aaron. And we have Spoon returning fire at 29. We have Spoon at 29. Looking for 30. 30. Do we have 30? Spoon at 29, looking for 30 for the 1890 from Haiti. And Aaron coming back at 30 now. Spoon returns fire. 31, 31, looking for 32. Spoon at 31, just edging out Rita. We have Spoon at 31, looking for 32 for the 1890, 20 cents, Haiti. Spoon at 31. And we have Aaron at 33 now. Aaron at 33, looking for 34, 34. Do we have 34? I am I am impressed with the detail of, of this coin, being that it is pre-1900. That is very impressive. We have Spoon at 35 now. Spoon at 35, looking for 36, 36. Do we have 36? Now, Lambo, I do accept trade offers, however, not for uh, live auction items. But I do appreciate that question. And that goes for anyone. If you're uh, looking to trade, I am open to trades, however, not on the uh, auction. We have Spoon at 35 going once. And we have Aaron at 36 now. Back and forth they go. Spoon and Aaron putting on a show here. We have Spoon at 37. Spoon at 37. Looking for 38, 38. Do we have 38? Let's back it up from the camera a little so that we can admire it in its full capacity. Spoon at 37. And Aaron is out. Spoon at 37. Going once. Going twice now. Spoon at 37. All in. All out. Last call. And so 
to Spoon for $37. Congratulations, Spoon. A very hard coin to obtain, and it is going your way. How about that? You will also receive jackpot entry number 26. Hard fought battle there for a very, very cool coin. And we are going to add that to your wallet. All right, before we move on to the next lot number, let's play a quick game here for one entry into the jackpot. A precious metal. First person on my screen will get one entry. Boom, there it is. Stop in the name of love before you break my heart. We have a winner, a lightning fast winner. So it should be no surprise who won this. The winner is Hidden Silver is the correct answer. Congratulations, Hidden. You have just gained one entry into the jackpot, and that is entry number 79. There are five jackpot prizes tonight. Four, courtesy of some awesome community members, Silver Sacks, Dennis Stewart, and Collective Chris. All right. Moving right along here. Oh, let's uh, verify. He was the first answer there. So there you see. All right, congratulations, Hidden. Next up is a BU 1943 P Walking Liberty Half Dollar. And this was taken out of my grading uh, coins collection that I have ready for uh, when I renew my NGC membership. I have a couple of coins. This was one of them. We pulled it out. We're putting it on the line tonight. We have hidden at 32. Hidden at 32. Looking for 33, 33. Do we have 33? I, I apologize for the technical difficulties, Kelly. Is anyone experiencing any lag here tonight? I know Brad and uh, Adam were having some issues. All right. It might be on your end, Kelly. Just check your uh, – maybe try refreshing uh, a little bit. Okay, so we are getting some lag today. So we have hidden at 32. For the 1943 P. Walker. Going once. Going twice now and we have Rita with a sniper alert that's for cover Rita at 33 for the 1943 P Walker in very impressive condition we have sharp eye at 34 now Sharp eye at 34. Looking for 35, 35. Do we have 35? <laughs> Chris says, how about her number? Can I have it? She is a beauty for sure. We have sharp eye at 34. Going once. And hidden fires back at 35 now. Hidden at 35. Just edging out Rita. We have hidden at 35, looking for 36, 36. Do we have 36? And Mia's Coins is in the building, everybody. Good to see you, Mia. How's your Friday going so far? It is Freaky Friday night. And we are looking at a beautiful walker right now. We have 
hidden at 35. Going once. Going twice now. We have hidden at 35 for the 1943P Walker in BU condition. And we have a sniper alert, Sharp Eye, coming in at 36 now. Sharp Eye at 36, looking for 37, 37. Do we have 37? Hidden coming right back at 37 now. Hidden at 37, looking for 38, 38. Do we have 38? I could look at this coin all day long. We have hidden at 37. Going once. Going twice now. Hidden at 37. All in. All. Out. Last call. And a sniper alert, sharp eye. Oh my goodness. We need to take a look at the instant replay here. We need to take a look at the instant replay. Let's take a look at what I'm seeing here on my screen. We have Sharp Eye just getting the bid in. If we can get some clarity, that would be awesome. Sharp Eye at 38, just edging out the Soul 2 button. We are still alive here, and we have Sharp Eye at 38 right now. Sharp eye at 38, looking for 39. And then says, you know what? And Collective Chris with a $2 super chat. Boom! Thank you so much for that, Chris. He says, I'll get her number one of these days. Well, if you get her number, give it to Mrs. Plata because I can't get anywhere near that. <laughs> we have sharp eye at 38. Going once, going twice now. We have sharp eye at thirty eight. All in, all out. Last call. And so to sharp eye for coins for oh my goodness and now hidden comes in and hidden I hate to do this brother but I have to take a snapshot here oh boy let's take a snapshot here this is what I'm seeing on my screen, and I can only go by what I see here. So you see the sold to sharp eye for coins for $38. There it is. I am so sorry, Hidden. But congratulations to sharp eye coins. You get the BU Walker for $38. Congratulations. That was a heartbreaker for sure. And uh, Sharp Eye, you will also receive jackpot entry number 27. Very nice win, Sharp Eye. A gorgeous Walker to add to, to the collection. All right. So let's see here. Yeah, that was a uh, bang bang play there. 
We don't get too many of those close calls, or at least we haven't been getting them lately, but tonight we have. So we're going to slow things down just a little bit to make sure everyone can get, can get their bid in. All right, next up is item number 28. And we are actually giving away one of these at the end of the stream. We did last week as well. This is a PCGS graded. MS69, 2015 one ounce Mexican Liber Tad, mintage of 901, 500. And we have Brad at 40, Adam at 42, Silver Sax at 44, 44 looking for 45, Adam at 45. Now just edging out Brad Burge. We have Sharp Eye taking it to 48, 48 looking for 49, 49. Do we have 49? Adam is out. Sharp Eye at 48, looking for 49, 49. We have 49. Sharp Eye at 48. Going for the back-to-back -back win here. Going. Wong. Going. Twice now. Sharp Eye at 48. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Sharp Eye for 48. Dollars. Congratulations, Sharp Eye, with the back-to-back -back win there. That's $48. And uh, let's see here. We're going to uh, let's take a look here. We're going to open this up here for a buy it now at the $48 price point. We do have six more remaining if anyone wants it at the $48 price point. So congratulations, Sharp Eye. You get it at $48. And we have Rory Ross with the buy it now. Rory Ross with the bin one. Hidden says, I get one for free for my birthday. Oh, man. Hidden, it is your birthday? Oh, yeah, you, you just dodged a lovely sounding bullet, Hidden. Me, me, me. All right, Hidden, the 24th is on a Tuesday. That's right. So we will be singing you the best song that you ever heard in your life. All right. <laughs> Sharp Eye, congratulations. We are going to uh, uh, jackpot entry number 28 is yours. And Rory Ross, jackpot entry number 90 is yours. And we have Brad with the buy it now. It says, what the heck? Buy it now. One. All right, Brad. Put you down for one. You will also receive jackpot entry number 99. Now, how do we tell the difference between the nine and the six? Well, the sixes are underlined. And I know on the contrary, it may be backwards, but the sixes on these numbers are underlined. So if it was a 66, it would have an underline underneath. So this is a 99 for Brad. All right, Sharp Eye, congratulations once again. And up next is a very old, very cool silver coin from Bolivia. All right. This is lot number 29. A 1782 Bolivia. One real 0.903 silver coin. Coin with a weight of 3.38 grams. The starting bid is $40 and hidden starts us off at 40. 
Let's take a look at the other side here. We have Sharp Eye at 45 now. Sharp Eye at 45. Spoon taking it to 50. Spoon at 50. Looking for 51. 51. Do we have 51? Very impressive. 1782. Over 200 years old. We have Spoon at 50. Going once. Going twice now. And we have a snipe alert. That's for cover, everyone. Sharp eye with the snipe. And Sharp Eye has an eye for a third straight win here. We have Spoon returning fire at 55. Spoon at 55. Sharp Eye at 56. Back and forth they go. Back and forth they go for the 1782 Bolivia. One real silver coin. What's going on? Kitu is in the building. Oh, better late than never, Kitu. We were happy to have you here. And Spoon coming in at 57. Spoon at 57, looking for 58, 58. Do we have 58? Sharp Eye returns fire at 58. We may need some popcorn, guys. This battle is getting interesting. What's going on? Mr. Nilbar is in the building. Good to see you, Mr. Nilbar. And Spoon coming back at 60 now. Spoon at 60, looking for 61, 61. Do we have 61? And Mr. Nilbar brings some beverages for the chat. Now all we need is some popcorn. And Sharp Eye coming in at 61. Back and forth they go for the one reel from Bolivia. Look at that. You know, I look at this, I look at this coin, I see 1782, and I try to imagine what those times were like. Incredible. We have Sharp Eye coming in at 65 now. TJ brings the popcorn, the butter, and the beverages. We are ready to go here. It is Freaky Friday night. We are up to lot number 29, and we have a battle here. Spoon at 70 now. Spoon at 70. Looking for 71, 71. Do we have 71? Sharp Eye with the suspense. Going once. Going twice now. Spoon at 70. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Spoon for $70. Congratulations, Spoon. A 200 plus year old coin heading your way. Incredible. You know, the reels really. Uh, they feel historic to me when I look at them and I hold them in my hand and just admire the history. It's absolutely gorgeous. Congratulations, Spoon. You're really going to enjoy that one. And uh, you will also receive jackpot entry number 29. All right, Spoon. What a sweet coin. All right, next up, item number 30. We're looking at the second gold item of the night other than the gold backs earlier today. And this is the final Canadian Maple Gram that I have. BU 2020 Canadian Maple Gram. 
Starting bid is 70. Let's see if we can get a close up. We have hidden at 71. Adam at 72. Hidden at 73 now. Hidden at 73. Looking for 74. 74. Do we have 74? For the one gram gold. Four nines fine gold. We have sharp eye at 75 now. Sharp eye at 75. Hidden taking it to 76 now. Hidden at 76. Looking for 77. Adam is out. 76. And if we're going to compare it to a dime here, just to give you an idea of the size that we're speaking of, we have hidden at 76 going wands. And sharp eye coming in at 77 now. Sharp eye 77, hidden at 78. We have hidden at 78, looking for 79, 79. Do we have 79? Ethan's having a party over there, huh? He's playing with the scented though. Oh, the, uh, yeah. Thanks to, um, <laughs> oh, yes, that's right. Silver Sacks. Big shout out to Silver Sacks as I count yeah. this down. We have hidden at 78. Going one. Going twice now. We have hidden at 78, looking for 79. And Sharp Eye with a sniper alert, duck for cover. Sharp Eye at 79, looking for 80, and hidden is out. Sharp Eye at 79. Going once. Going twice now. Sharp eye at 79. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Sharp Eye for $79. Congratulations, Sharp Eye. You are on fire today. Sharp Eye is on a roll. And Sharp Eye, you will receive jackpot entry number 30. And that's $79 for the one gram Canada gold coin. All right, Sharp Eye. Uh, so, yes, I wanted to... Uh, Shout out Silver Sacks. Uh, he sent some Halloween trick or treat funds for Ethan and Gigi. And uh, Ethan was able to get some scented Play Doh that he really enjoys. Uh, he's very hypersensitive, so he likes things that have tactile feeling and he has things that ha uh, are scented. So he, he loves this. And these are actually scented markers and pencils. And, and scented pencils. So uh, it's helping him with his fine motor skills as well as also providing him with sensory input. So Silver Sacks, thank you thank so much you. once again. We really do appreciate that. Very, very sweet of you, brother. And uh, so congratulations to Sharp Eye for the one gram maple gram. All right, so before we move on to the dessert menu, you can see the dessert menu right in front of you. But uh, before we move on, we are going to uh, pull up the random comment picker and select three more names. Three more names. So uh, let's put the link here. Guys, if you haven't yet commented, please take a second to do so, if your name is selected, you will gain entry into the jackpot, which has five prizes, four courtesy of some great members of our community. Shout out to Dennis Stewart, Silver Sacks, and Collective Chris. All right, so here we go. We're going to pull up the uh, random comment picker. What's going on? Clay 37's in the building, everybody. Good to see you, brother. How's it going, Clay? 
It is Freaky Friday night, and we are pulling up the random comment picker to select three more names here. Good luck. And the winner is Bonsky. Bonsky, you will gain one entry into the jackpot. We will get that entry for you shortly. Let's refresh and pick two more. The next winner is Kelly Michaud. Congratulations, Kelly. And let's pick one more. And Aaron. Aaron, you will receive one entry into the jackpot. So here we go. Congratulations to Bonesky, Kelly, Michelle, and Aaron. So Bonesky, you will get entry number 40. Kelly, you will get entry number 60. And Aaron, you will get entry number 69. So good luck. And they are in there. Oh, yes, now they have scented pencils, scented markers. You know, there is, uh, there's a, a market out there for children with disabilities. And I think the, the, uh, the people that are putting a lot of their time and effort are really doing a great job providing these kind of uh, activities and items and materials for children with autism. So I think it's uh, just a great thing. And you know, we're seeing that field continue to grow because I felt that was uh, something that was neglected and still is neglected in many aspects in our uh, life, guys. So uh, shout out to everyone who knows someone who has autism or a uh, developmental disability. And, uh, you know, just out of uh, curiosity, put a one in the chat if you are related to or know of someone with a developmental disability. It is important to speak about it and to spread the knowledge to everyone. And, uh, you know, it's not easy for the people that are there for those people, but it's even harder for those that deal with it firsthand. So, uh, you know, I commend uh, children like my son, Ethan, and uh, all around the world that have to uh, live with this developmental disability. And, uh, you know, we have to make sure that we spread the word so that we can get uh, the attention that, that they deserve so that they can uh, have the best quality of life possible. All right, yeah, there you see a lot of people. So that's, you know, that's good to know that we are all uh, aware of our fellow community members, because I tell you what, guys, it's easy to turn a blind eye to what's going on in the world. And one thing for sure is that children with disabilities need so much more support than they get. And uh, we have to do our part to uh, spread that information. All right. So here we go, guys. We are going to move on to the dessert menu. Who's hungry? Because we have one of the most enticing dessert menus on the Soccer Blata auction. First up is item number 31. Item number 31 is a PCGS graded MS64 1936 Long Island commemorative half dollar with a net mintage of 81,773. We have hidden starting us off at the opening bid of 100. All right, 100, and we're looking for 105. Look at that. Now, this coin is very interesting uh, because the mintage was adjusted. Why was the mintage adjusted? Well, uh, the following year after the release of this coin, some were sent back to melt, and that is why they're, uh, let's see here, that is why the mintage was adjusted. So uh, the mintage was actually a little higher, but being that some were melted the following year, they had to adjust it to eight, 81,773. All right. 
and then says, it's my birthday. I think that's just an abbreviation on there. I mean, it could be a spelling error. But uh, here is the uh, PCGS number. So if you go to their website, you answer the number in, the information will come up. That would be pretty interesting if it was a typo. And I wonder if PCGS would replace it and uh, re-slab it if that was indeed an error on their part. We have Silver Sacks at 105. We were looking for 110 hidden $5 intervals after 100. Collective Chris is hidden. It's not the 24. So we have Silver Sacks at 105. Going once. Let's take a look. Aaron said 105. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm seeing silver sacks. Let's take a snapshot of this so that you guys can see what I'm seeing on my screen. I'm seeing a bit of 105 from silver sacks. So we have silver sacks up here at 105. And Aaron, your bid is down here toward the bottom. We have Aaron at 110 now. And I do apologize for any technical difficulties that you guys are experiencing. We have Aaron at 110. Looking for 115. Going once. Going twice now Aaron at 110 all in all out last call and So to Aaron for $110. Congratulations, Aaron. You get the Long Island commemorative half dollar MS64 graded by PCGS. How cool is that? You will also receive entry number 31 into the jackpot. Very cool looking Long Island half dollar there. So, Aaron, we're going to add that to your wallet. And it is in there. All right, guys. Next up, we have a Chunky Boy. Oh, CCO is in the building, everybody. Of course I remember you, CCO. Shout out to CCO, Coin Collector Ohio, with the new name, STW Gaming. Thank you for joining us, CCO. Hope all is well. All right, check this out. This is lot number 32, a 2019 Five ounce Mexican Libra Tad with a mintage of 18,000 on planet Earth. Starting bid is 170. We have Silver Sacks at 170, hidden at 175. Silver Sacks at 180 now. 180, looking for 185, 185. Do we have 185? Silver Sacks at 180. And Henry coming in at 185. Henry at 185, looking for 190 here. Mrs. Plotha likes this design, don't you? It's beautiful. <laughs> we have Kelly 
Michelle coming in at 190 now. Kelly Michelle at 190, looking for 195. It is a battle royal for item number 32. The 2019 five ounce Libertad. 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 We have Kelly at 190. Going once. Going twice now. Kelly at 190. All in. Sniper! Henry coming in at 195. Duck for cover, Mrs. Plata. Kelly at uh, Kelly at uh we have Henry at 195. Henry at 195 looking for 200. <laughs> you stop that. <laughs> stop that, Mrs. Plata. It's a family show. <laughs> it's a family show, Rockzilla. <laughs> We have Henry at 195 looking for 200. 195 <laughs> looking for 200. Going once. Henry, says, <laughs> Henry isn't lagging now. Going twice now. And we have a sniper alert, Kelly Michelle coming in at 200. Kelly at 200, looking for 205. Henry wants to know, Mrs. Plata, did you get some chocolate? Oh, yeah. Thank you. you. And I'll have some more. You just reminded me there in the <laughs> Yes, that's right. Before I love Gigi, chocolate. Before Gigi makes it disappear like Houdini. We have Kelly at 200. Going... Wants going twice now. Kelly at two hundred. All in. All out. Last call. And we have a sniper alert, Henry at 205, the cover from the grassy knoll. Henry getting in a $205 bid right in the nick of time. How about that? How close was that, Mrs. Plata? That Very was... close. You were already typing. Oh, that was razor thin, Henry. <laughs> razor thin. Ozzy Cobber knows what to do. We have the popcorn, a whole lot of butter, and some beverages. We have Henry at 205 looking for 210 now. Back and forth they go. And I tell you what, my fingers are getting quite the workout here. We have Henry at 205 going once. Going twice now. Henry at 205. The suspense. The anticipation. All in. All out. Last call. And. Sold to Henry V for two hundred and five dollars. Boom! Congratulations, Henry. Two hundred and five dollars for the twenty nineteen five ounce Mexican Libertad.
Oh, my goodness. That is a chunky one heading your way, Henry. You will also receive jackpot entry number 32. And we're going to add this to your wallet. But before we do, Henry, I want to uh, make an offer. We have two of these. However, this one, similar condition, although on the reverse, you're seeing a little, little uh, tarnishing there. Now, I can make this available at the one, I'll take $10 off. I'll make it $195 for the second one. If you are not interested, I will extend the offer to Kelly. So, uh, Henry, you let me know. And I want to give uh, Kelly, the runner-up, the option if if Henry does not want to uh, purchase this. And Hidden, you can be third on there, brother. If Kelly doesn't want it, then it's yours. If Henry doesn't want it, I just uh, wanted to, uh, I didn't want to make it a buy it now because the condition is slightly different from the one that was on the auction. So Henry, you let me know if you want it for 195. All right, now Kelly, the ball is in your court. Kelly Michaud, if you want this one for 195, uh, so uh, Henry won this one for 205. I offered him this one for 195 because it has slight tarnishing. It's a little rough on the edge here. So if you want this one for 195, it's yours. If not, Hidden is on deck waiting to claim it. So no pressure at all, Kelly. But uh, I did want to extend this offer to you guys. And uh, all right, Kelly, it's yours. Congratulations. 195. The condition is not as good as the one Henry won. But that's why we took $10 off. And... Uh, Henry, congratulations on the win. And we are going to add that to your wallet. Let's just make a note here. Kelly Michaud, buy it now one for $195. And let's uh, bag it and tag it. That is a chunk of silver. All right, CCL, thank you for joining us. You have a great night. And I hope to see you again soon, brother. All right, Kelly, congratulations as well. And uh, Kelly, with that... Purchase, you will receive jackpot entry number. Let's get let's get you a number here. Number 71. Jackpot entry number 71 for Kelly. All right. Next up, we have gold. Item number 33 is a 1915 Austria 10 Corona Restrike, 90% gold. Actual gold weight is 0 0.098 troy ounces. And the weight is 3.387. The starting bid here is $200. $200. For the 1915, and we have silver sacks coming in at 200, just edging out spoon. Hidden taking it to 205 now. Hidden at 205, looking for 210, 210. We have 210. Some Austria gold on the soccer plot, the uh, world coin auction tonight. And we have silver sacks at 210. Spoon bringing it to 215 now. It's a triple threat battle here. 
for the 1915 Austria 10 Corona Restrike. And Spoon at 215, looking for 220. Take a look here. We have Spoon at 215. Going once. Going twice now. And Kelly Michelle with the sniper alert. Duck for cover. Kelly coming in at 220. Kelly at 220. Looking for 225 now. Spoon does not hesitate. He fires back with a $225 bid. Absolutely gorgeous piece of gold here. We have Spoon at 225, looking for 230 now. Going once. Going twice now. And Kelly coming in at 230 with a sniper alert. Kelly at 230. So let's compare. Kelly says I am making it look big. I'm sorry for that, Kelly, but it's slightly bigger than a Merc dime in comparison. And the weight is 3.387. We have Kelly at 230, looking for 235. And Spoon coming in at 235 now. Spoon at 235, looking for 240, 240. Do we have 240? We have a head-to-head -head battle here between Kelly and Spoon. Spoon at 235. And Kelly coming back with a $240 bid. Back and forth they go. What a battle we have here. And Spoon is out. We have Kelly Michelle at $240. Going once. Going Twice now. A lot of sniper fire here, Henry. Kelly at 240. All in. All out. Last call. And. To Kelly Michelle for two hundred and forty dollars. Boom! Kelly with the win. What does she win? Gold. Congratulations, Kelly. You win the gold from Austria. Congratulations. You also get jackpot entry number thirty-three. But a very nice gold coin, 10 Corona Restrike, to add to your collection. Congratulations, Kelly. And now we have two remaining. Item number 34. is a 10 ounce Geiger three nines fine silver bar security line series. We're starting the bidding here at 320. They're going for well more than that. And we have Henry starting us off at $320. Just to give you an idea of how big it is in comparison to my hand which isn't that big to begin with, but there you have it. It's a chunky boy. 
on that mix right now. These are going for just under $350, not including tax. We have Henry at $320. We are looking for $325. Going Wands. What's going on, AG Surfers in the building? Good to see you, brother. Hope all is well. How have you been, and how's your Friday going so far? AG says, someone say, Chunky Boy, I'm here. <laughs> we have Henry at 320. Going twice now. The suspense, the anticipation. We have Henry at $320 for the 10 ounce Geiger silver bar. Let's see here. Blemishes. I'm seeing it on the plastic, but there is a slight little ding here on the, uh, on the bar. So it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. But we, I am, I would never block you, Silver Sax. Here we go, three twenty, all in, all out. Last call, and so. To Henry V for the opening bid of three hundred and twenty dollars. Boom, Henry! Congratulations, Henry! You get a chunky one, and it is going right into your wallet. That is three twenty, and you got a great deal on that, Henry. Congratulations! We're going to add that to your wallet. By the way, we just added a five ounce silver coin or silver round to your wallet just a few minutes ago. So that's 15 ounces of silver added within about 20 minutes. Congratulations to Henry. And then there was one. And this is it. This is a 2020 W one ounce end of World War II 75th anniversary American Silver Eagle proof coin with the box and the COA. All right, guys, the main event of the evening. The box, the COA, I'm seeing the flying Twinkie at 450 right now. Let's take a look here. Careful with the face reveal, Mrs. Blotta. Oh, Careful with the face <laughs> reveal. No, I, I would love to see you in a reflection of this coin. We have hidden at 460. Let's uh, I have these cotton that I would like to just so that you guys can see every detail here. And we're going to take our time with this one, guys, so that you guys can really take a look here. Oh, wow. Kelly says, lick it. <laughs> I think it would sell for probably half if I did that, Kelly. We have the Flying Twinkie at 465. Now, I could take it out and show you guys the other side. So what I'll do is we have the Flying Twinkie at 465. Put a one in chat if uh, or the people that are bidding. If you want to see the reverse, let me know. 
And what I'll do is I'll put the gloves on and I'll make sure to be extra careful here. We have hidden at 470 now. Hidden at 470. Uh, yeah, so Henry, I am going to send at least one in for grading. All right. Uh, all right. We'll keep it intact here. We have hidden at 470. AG, I shaved earlier, man. <laughs> AG says, my man, you need to shave my shave this morning, AG. I guess I didn't do as good a job as I thought. We have hidden at 470 for the V75 Silver Proof Eagle. Hidden at 470. Going once. Maximus said MS70 graded goes for 1200 right now. Hidden at 470. Going twice now. Silver Hair Seeker says, that would make a great ring. Don't you do it, Silver Hair. <laughs> we have hidden at $470 for the 2020 W one ounce end of World War II, 75th anniversary ASE proof coin. And we have a sniper alert, Maximus Silver Stacker coming in at 475 now. And Hidden is out. Hidden is out. We have Maximus at 475. 475 looking for 480 now. Going once. That looks impeccable. Going twice now. And we have a bid from a new bidder, Tony Atkins. Now, Tony. If you would like to participate, I need you to verify your account on PayPal. If you did not already register, all you have to do is send a $1 verification payment to SockaBlopperNY at gmail.com. Hidden says, I can vouch for Mr. Tony Atkins. All right, Hidden. So Hidden has vouched for Tony. So, Tony, with Hidden's approval, we will accept your $480 bid. And Lambo as well. Thank you guys so much. And as long as you guys vouch, that's okay. Uh, and we have Maximus at 485 now. Back and forth they go. Maximus at 485, looking for 490. And we have Tony taking it to $500. Boom! Tony at five. Tony at five. For the 2020 W, one ounce end of World War II, 75th anniversary ASE proof coin with the box and the COA. Tony at 500. Going once. Wow. 
going twice now. The suspense, the anticipation. We have Tony at 500, and we have a sniper alert. Maximus coming back at 505. Shots fired. What a battle we have here for lap number 35. We have Maximus at 505. We are looking for 510. Tony taking it to 510 now. We have Tony at 510 looking for 515. 515. Do we have 515? Maximus fires back at 515. I am sweating. I am panting. I have goosebumps. What is happening? We have Maximus at 515 looking for 520 now. Back and forth they go. Mr. Nilbar brings the popcorn. We need two more ingredients. <laughs> Reese says, I got booty sweat. Plenty of booty sweat tonight on the World Coin Auction. <laughs> we have Tony at 525 now. Tony coming back at 525. That's right. You see, you see the, the trembles. You see it. Rock and Roots called it. Said you got the silver shakes. I'm trying to keep this very, very still here. We have Tony at 525 now. Going once. Going twice now. We have Tony Atkins for $525. We are looking for $530. Here we go. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Tony Atkins for five hundred and twenty five dollars. Boom! And the crowd goes wild. Congratulations to Tony Atkins, who takes home the 2020 W one ounce end of World War II 75th anniversary ASE proof coin with the box and the COA. Incredible. Congratulations to Tony Atkins. Oh, Tony needs the PayPal address, so let's help Tony out with the PayPal address. SockerBlotherNY at gmail.com. And that is goods and services, of course. And if you need any assistance, any questions, you let me know via email, and I will be glad to help you out, Tony. Congratulations. So let's put this in ever so carefully. And there we have it. Incredible. I just have to look at it one more time. <laughs> Incredible. Tony Atkins, congratulations. A hard fought battle and a hard earned victory. And there it is, Tony Atkins. So shipping is $4 for five ounces or less. However, if you want to add insurance to this, you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, it, it would be the cost of how much insurance you're looking to add. Uh, but shipping via first class package would be $4. Uh, like I said, if you would like if, if you have preferred shipping method that you would uh, like me to 
the bye bye, you let me know, Tony, and we can make that happen. Not a problem. All right, let's uh get Tony's name down here. And Tony, uh, make sure I have your uh, your shipping address as well. And it must match with what I'm seeing on PayPal. So Tony, congratulations. Incredible. We're just going to leave this here because it's just so good to look at. Tony Atkins. 525. And that is way cheaper than eBay. So congratulations, Tony. All right. Aaron says, can I see what's in my wallet? Sure thing, Aaron. Really quickly, I'll show you. Then we will get to the end of stream giveaway. So that's what you have right now, Aaron. The Long Island. You have the Ultra Cameo, the gold, one tenth ounce, and some other uh, what appears to be one ounces as well. Oh, Henry, your wallet is tremendous, my friend. Now, I can send pictures if you guys want to take a look at your wallet, but I don't want to start a domino effect. So if you guys would like to take a look at your wallet, you could always just email me, and I will uh, take a snapshot of all your items so that you can uh, keep track at home. All right, so here's what we're going to do. But just to give you an idea, Henry, this is part of your wallet. It's not even all of it. All right. So let's move this aside for Tony Atkins. And now it is time for the Saka Blanca jackpot giveaway. We're going to pull four more names via the random comment picker. These are the last four entries that I have. Four more names. And there it is. Uh, so I could, I could extend bins Adam, however, I do not have the entries to offer along with those bins. So we're going to do the giveaway here. If people are still interested in the bins, then that's up to you. But <clears throat> the bins will be after the jackpot tonight. All right, let's back this up here. So anyone that had a bin prior is good to go, but unfortunately, we have four entries remaining, and those are going to be via the random comment picker. Uh, so Shannon, I do both. Uh, if, you, if you prefer to pay on your own during the stream, you're welcome to do that via goods and services. Uh, however, if I do not receive payment for the duration of the stream, I send invoices within 24 hours. So uh, the, the choice is yours. It works for me either way. And uh, all right, Tony, thank you so much. I did receive your PayPal. So I appreciate that. And congratulations on the great deal for the V75. All right, so here we go. We're going to pull up the random comment picker one last time. Hidden says, what's my total due? Seven, uh, 25. Let's see, Hidden. Uh, yes, 25 for the $1 face value. And I believe that's it. I will double check, Henry. Uh, hidden. All right, so we're going to pull up the random comment picker here. If your name is selected and you gain an entry into a jackpot that has five separate prizes, Here we go. Good luck. Four separate names. We have U.S. Silver Stacker. So U.S., you will get entry number 53. Let's pick another one. All 
Breeze, Breeze, you will receive entry number 82. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. Then and then and then and Collective Chris. Collective Chris, you will receive entry number 83. And the final entry goes to Robert Wright. Now, Robert Wright, it looks like you're a spam, so I am going to void this. Sorry, Robert, but that is not prohibited on YouTube. Here we go. And it's K. We have the letter B and the letter K in the building. So K, you will receive entry number 49. It says, comment, 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 comment. Excited for the V75 auction. All right. So K, if your name is drawn, you must be present to claim your prize. And that goes for anyone unless you have an active wallet account or unless you made a purchase or won something Let's see here. Power of Cheese says, you missed a giveaway donation from Jules quite a ways back. Jules, are you in the building? Sorry if I missed anything. Let me know. It's a little hard to keep track of the uh, of the chat, so I do apologize for that. Uh, so is uh, Tony, Tony, are you, are you here? Tony Atkins, are you still in the building? If Tony is here, let me know if you want it in the box that it came in or not. Either way, I, I, unless you don't want it in. Okay, perfect. So, Tony, we're just going to put this in the box for you here the same way it arrived to me. And then we will uh, put it in a bubble, bubble mailer as well, if that's what you prefer. If not, we can just wrap this up with bubble wrap with plastic and Everyone knows uh, that it's purchased from me. I do the best I can to uh, package uh, to protect the coinage. All right, Jules says, put two of my gold backs in the EOS. Boom! Jules, thank you so much. I do appreciate that. So that takes the jackpot to six prizes tonight, guys. Six prizes. We're going to lay these prizes out so that everyone can see it's not the roll, but we have a BU Merc Diamond here. And that's courtesy of Silver Sax. Uh, excuse me, let's just make sure. That's courtesy of Collective Chris. And this is courtesy of Silver Sax. All right, I'm gonna put the jackpot barrel Right in the middle here. Jules, thank you so much for that. So two gold backs, courtesy of Jules. Let's grab them. Let's get these gold backs. I have no idea where they are. Yeah, let's bear with me, guys, as I get a couple of gold bags here. Just going to add the gold back in afterward. I have one here, and uh, we're gonna put two of these up, courtesy of Jules. What's going on? Paul Hampton's in the building. Good to see you, brother. Hope all is well on this freaky Friday night. All right, here we go, guys. 
Let's get started. Jackpot prize number one is the Slab Lever Tad. Jackpot prize number two is a one-ounce copper round courtesy of Dennis Stewart. Thank you, Dennis. Jackpot prize number three is an ultimate grab bag number 161, courtesy of Dennis Stewart as well. He donated for this this past Tuesday, and now he's giving it away to someone in chat. So thank you for that, Dennis. Jackpot prize number four is one BU Merc Dime. One BU Merc Dime, courtesy of Collective Chris. Jackpot prize number five is a five gram Geiger Silver Square. What's going on? Silver Nitrates in the building. S. Lasinski is in the house. Thank you guys for joining me. And jackpot prize number six is a pair of Utah Goldbacks courtesy of Jules. So thank you guys so much. Big shout out to Dennis Stewart, Collective Chris, Silver Sacks, and Jules for your generosity. I really do appreciate it. And here we go, guys. This is for the win. This is for the slab here. Now, give me a thumbs up if we are clear to proceed. Lag-free is the way to be. All right, here we go. Oh, one fell out. We're putting that back in. We're throwing it, and we are doing this. Here we go. Shaking it, stirring it. And the winner of the Slab Libertad is number 71. Number 71 is, we're looking, we're searching, we're trying to find number 71. A lot of numbers tonight, guys. Number 71. I am uh, Kelly Ray says it's me. Kelly Ray. I'm, I just want to verify here. Kelly, if it's you, congratulations. But I'm not even seeing 71 on here. <laughs> Let's see here. 71. All right, Kelly Ray. Congratulations, Kelly. You have won. Let's see here. I just want to make sure, guys. My handwriting is horrendous today. It looks like Kelly got it. All right, Kelly, congratulations. I'm not seeing the number 71 anywhere, but Kelly, I'm going to honor that. If you say that's yours, I'm going to honor it. And what I'll do is I'll play back. And if 71, oh, yes, uh, actually, 71 is Kelly. M. 71 is Kelly M. Kelly Michaud for the Mexican Libra tag. Mrs. Plata, can you please verify here? Yes. Yes. So I'm sorry, Kelly. Kelly Ray. Kelly Michaud is the winner. And here we have confirmation. Kelly M. Number 71. That's why I didn't find it because it was next to Tony as well, but Tony's number was 35. So, Kelly, congratulations. I apologize. Kelly, you won the slab lever tad. So, we're going to label that and we'll get more prizes going here. That was a first. 
All right. That's what happens when you put a V75 proof eagle on the line. Things just start breaking down all over the place. <laughs> all right, here we go. For the one ounce copper, one ounce copper goes to number two. Number two is Jules. Congratulations, Jules. You have just won the copper Panda, one ounce copper round, courtesy of Dennis Stewart. Panda, 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 panda. So there you have it, Jules. Congratulations. And that was Coin Karma heading right back to Jules for uh, donating a couple of gold bags for the end of stream. So thanks again for that, Jules, and congratulations. All right, next up is the grab bag courtesy of Dennis Stewart. There's a Benji in there. There's a Barbara Quarter in there. There's some Forens. There's a Buffalo in there. And there's some Wheaties. And the winner is... Number 67. Number 67 is catfish arge catfish with one entry into the jackpot takes home the grab bag congratulations catfish you get a benji you get a barber quarter and a bunch of mixed coinage courtesy of dennis stewart so we're gonna put daw on here and then we're going to put catfish so we know where it goes. And catfish, we will add that to your wallet. And thank you, Dennis, for sponsoring those two giveaways. I really do appreciate it. And next up is one Merc Dime, courtesy of Collective Chris. And the winner is number one. Number one is Rahilio. Congratulations, Rahilio. You have just won a BU Merc Dime courtesy of Collective Chris. Congratulations, Rahilio. We're going to add that to your wallet. All right. Next up is the five gram Geiger Silver Square. Here we go. And the winner is number 86. Number 86 is. TJ, congratulations, TJ. You have just won the 5-gram Geiger Silver Square courtesy of Silver Sacks. All right. And thank you so much for sponsoring that giveaway, Silver Sacks. Really appreciate you, brother. And we're going to add this to TJ's wallet. All right. My voice is starting to... Fade here, guys. <laughs> Next up is the pair of Utah Goldbacks, courtesy of Jules. Here we go. Let's uh let's make a note here so that two for giveaway. All right, thank you, Jules, and good luck. The last giveaway of the night. Number 60, number 60 is Kelly M. Kelly Michaud. Congratulations, two jackpot prizes for Kelly. And you win the two gold backs here, courtesy of Jules. So, Jules, thank you for sponsoring that giveaway. Let's get it down here. 
Kelly M with the two gold back win. Awesome. So Kelly with the slab leaper tad and the two gold backs. How about that? All right, let's take a look here. Now, before we call it a night, since we didn't extend any buy it nows, we're going to extend some buy it nows. Uh, let's see here. Hold on one second. Viera says, do a one ounce kangaroo. Boom! Viera getting in on the soccer block, the jackpot. Oh my goodness. We okay, so and collective Chris wants to do another EOS giveaway with his second buy it now for the BU Merc. How about that? Collective Chris and Viera. All right, Tony Atkins, thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. Uh, we stream every Tuesday and Friday night, so I hope to see you on a future stream once again, and I will uh, make sure to get that eagle out to you. Congratulations once again. All right, so Viera Coins wants to give away a one-ounce kangaroo, and Collective Chris wants to give away a Merc Dime. So let's do it right now. How cool is that? So we're going to get the uh, the BU Merc Dime from Collective Chris. So let's see here. This is for the BU Merc Dime. And the winner is number eight. Number eight is Henry. Congratulations, Henry. You have just won a BU Merc Dime, courtesy of Collective Chris. BU Merc giveaway win. Very cool. All right. And this is for the one ounce kangaroo, courtesy of Viera Coins. Here we go. Incredible. And the winner is number three. Number three is Jules once again. Congratulations, Jules. You have just won a one-ounce kangaroo courtesy of Viera Coins. How about that? Jules with the copper win and now with the one-ounce kangaroo Courtesy of Viera. How about that? That is awesome. Viera, thank you so much for doing that. Collective Chris, Silver Sacks, Dennis Stewart, Jules, you guys are incredible. So let's uh let's make sure to get this down here. I do have to pick that up from Viera's shop. So Jules, just uh keep that in mind. And uh Rafe, let's get you a total, Rafe. See if I can do it quickly. If not, I will send you an invoice, but it's looking right now like uh, 17, uh, 39, $39, unless you have any buy it nows. So that's $39, not including any buy it nows. I would have to double check. All right, so guys, we're going to do the buy it nows before we uh, wrap things up. And uh, so let's just go over it. The Utah Goldbacks are sold out, but we have uh, BU Merc Dimes for $9 a piece. Buy it now if anyone is interested. We have... Uh, all right, Kay, you have a great night. Let's see here. 
All right, Collective Chris, thank you so much for your generosity and for joining us tonight. I really do appreciate it. All right, we have Paul Hampton with a buy now three on the Mercs. All right, Paul. We also have a buy it now on the five Graham Geigers. There are 13 available at the $19 price point for the five Graham Geiger, if anyone is interested. Uh, yes, TJ, I did see the uh, email, so we will have your wallet shipped out. Not a problem. And I believe that's it. Other than the BU Mercs, we do have the Slab Libra Tads for the Slab Libra Tads are going for $48 a piece, but there are only four more available. Uh, so Breeze, there are they are random date Mercs. Most of them are going to be 1942 and higher. All right, TJ, will do, brother. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. And you have a great weekend. All right, I'll be getting some more inventory later this week as, as well. Uh, Kellen, I don't believe you have a wallet, but I, I will double check just to make sure. And if anyone else has any inquiries, you can always reach out to me at SockaBlathaNY at gmail.com. We have Breeze with a buy it now too. On the Mercs. All right, Breeze, we have you down here. All right, guys. As far as Tuesday Tuesday night's stream goes, I will keep you posted as to what we're doing. Uh, it all depends on whether the soccer plot, the jackpot box, is ready for Tuesday night stream. If it is, we will be doing it big. If not, we will hold off for one more week until it is finished. So, guys. Once again, thank you guys for joining me. We're going to wrap things up. However, stand by on Tuesday. We may have a flash sale or a uh, bin battle, maybe a light auction. Uh, and that is if the jackpot box is not ready by then. So I will keep you guys posted. Thank you guys so much for being here on this freaky Friday night where we parted ways with a V75 proof. American Silver Eagle. We also parted ways with a 10-ounce Geiger and a foreign gold. So thank you guys so much. Uh, so let's see here. Adam is having a, a premiere. Is that the unboxing premiere, Adam? Oh, uh, Rita wants me to practice singing for a hit and let's la 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 la. No? <laughs> Oh, okay. I'll rehearse and I'll save you guys. for the 24th. <laughs> All right. So Adam is having a uh, Adam is having a premiere on his V75 unboxing video. So make sure you go over there and uh, you check it out. Uh, I'm gonna put Rory Ross down here for a buy it now. All right, Rory Ross, we have you down here for a buy it now. One for the Mercs at nine dollars a piece. And guys, if there's anything that you need behind the scenes, if you if you're looking to purchase something, or if you're looking just to inquire about something, do not hesitate. I'll do my best to help you out. All right, Henry, thank you so much for being here. Thank you all for joining me tonight on this incredible World Coin auction. And I hope to see you guys on Tuesday night stream. You guys have a great weekend, and once once more time for good measure. If you have any questions, you can always contact me at SockaBlathaNY at gmail.com. You guys have a great night, a great weekend. I will see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Good night.